Yo, good morning, everybody. Wrestle Kingdom 16 in Yokohama Arena. Hey, I'm not hearing them say Yokohama Arena, but hey, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Suplex. That's two O's when you spell my name. And welcome to the third night of New Japan Pro Wrestling Presents Wrestle Kingdom 16. We are live on YouTube and Twitch.tv watching Wrestle Kingdom. And guys, I'm so excited for this show. I see high folks as nobody's already in the chat. I know a lot of you are very excited for this show. And man, I am tired. But, you know, Tyler's alive. Yes, Tyler is in fact alive. Somehow, some way, I am um, living, breathing, kicking, and screaming. But guys, I'm I am also here with uh, <laughs> Marion. I'm also here with some um Good friends of mine who wanted to uh, watch the show. And I'm here with my uh, good friend, Franklin. What's up? And Dane. What's up? And you guys uh, you guys are pretty excited for the show, I assume. Much like all of us. I'm interested. I'm, I'm, in, I'm intrigued. Oh, yeah, Dane, you're not really uh, big into New Japan. And have you ever seen Pro Wrestling The Hole before? Uh, not really. I've watched it, I think, once with you. I don't, I don't think we watched Pro Wrestling Noah together, but I might be wrong. I know we, we watched I New Japan did. together. We, no, we need to do uh, Noah. We just didn't know who anybody was, and it was... Oh, uh, you know what we that. did? We did, we did. Okay, you're right, you're right. Ah, uh, I see I'm the only one with culture here. No, okay, so... Franklin here... Atsy watches Noah. Now, do you watch Noah consistently? Do you watch all the shows? Do you watch most? I shows? I tend to watch the big shows. I I'm not gonna lie. Like I I don't I don't go back and like watch the tours. I skim through them and like if if someone recommends a match or two from the tours, I'll I'll actually watch it. But generally, I just watch the big shows. Uh oh. Yeah. Why can't I? I I don't know what that says. <laughs> My stream says something, but I I can't read. <laughs> I don't know what that says. It says something in Japanese. And it's it says TV Asa, he got your ass again. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh-oh. Are you trying to... I don't know what it says. Let me do a let me do a Google pick. It, it, it probably, I'll hold on. I think I know what it says. It's probably just like error. Something's wrong. So, uh, I don't know. It's in Japanese. But guys, we are, I'm watching it. Well, I'm not watching it right now. Some message just came up on my screen. We're only in. We're only watching it for like a solid two minutes. Not even that. We even get to see the show start. <laughs> that's that's the whole show. The yakuza took over. Yes, the yakuza took over. Well, we can't say the guy with that name out loud. But oh, I see we shit. got people in the chat right now. We got a uh, high voltage Nova. We got Andy R. Travis Richards. L. Junior. Sien. Chucky's in the chat. He's I'm sure that I should have missed some old GHC championship design. It was cool as fuck. Yeah, it was cool. I like the new design. The new design looks very modern. I like it. I like it. It reminds me of the Loki. Reminds you of the uh, Impact Championship. Did you like seeing uh Kenta set up that ladder during that match? Oh, that the was man so who, weird. The man broke his damn nose. Well, I, that shit was awkward though when he was setting up the ladder and he was like screwing it in and then he's just like, "Hold on, guys, the match can wait. I'm gonna set this ladder up." I it was a good know, match. Though. I don't know. What this really is. good match. <laughs> Um, I don't know if, if you guys haven't seen much of Noah. Maybe we should do a, a watch along of like all the uh, major Japanese products. Well, we're doing a watch along right now, damn it! I mean, I don't know what we're, what we're watching along to because I don't know what the fuck is going on. But uh, the uh, little two stubble legged man thing with the mustache. Carl Dean just said, yeah, and Tanahashi is boring. Whoa, we will not take Tanahashi slander over here. So whoa, 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 that is the oh, ace god? We, we, do we do not disrespect the ace god here. Dude, he, he plays air guitar. That's like the coolest thing in the world in the exactly. 80s. In the 80s. You said in the 80s? Shut up, man. No, I like him, but it is kind of goofy. He's a great wrestler, though. Besides, we all know that uh, one of the greatest wrestling games of all time, Fire Pro Wrestling World, is actually just a Tanahashi dating sim. That is very true. That is very true. Uh, Kenta is better than Tanahashi, and I can't agree with that. I can't get down with that. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, that's a no for me, Chief. Yeah, no for me, too. You know what else is a no for me? Whatever the hell is going on with my, uh, with this thing that I paid, like, you know, $30 for. Oh, I don't know where oh, to shit. watch it. Uh, you can watch it on a Bima TV. Uh, however, I don't know if I'm having the same issue. People have similar issues, but it's the show's not streaming for me right now. Um, uh, what everyone, to, uh... everyone in the chat that I just went into said that it's the uh, sites doing this for everyone. Okay, so I'm not the only person. Let me check yeah. Twitter real quick. Damn, we are we're getting peacocked over here. Hey, well they better get their fucking shit together. I know I paid money for all this. For Dude, this. I really hope that they know what's going on and they're not just like, hey, we're just gonna continue the shit. Uh, oh, how come okay, you didn't yeah, do it? Everybody, through... everybody has the same message. <laughs> like, bitch, I hope oh man, know. that TV Asahi line killed me. Everybody. Everybody's going through it right now with TVSI. That's crazy. You know what's actually really funny is that there's people who are still getting okay. Yeah, people are having it. That people are still getting copyright striked, and they're shocked. And I'm like, um, you do realize that I went through this whole bullshit like two years ago. Everybody knew about it. like, and then it's like other people will see other people do it, and then they'll do it, and then they'll wonder why they got striked. It's like, well, you fucking idiot. I don't know what you're expecting. Like. If you use picture or video from them, and you get strikes, I'm not really sure uh, what you were. Turn doing. the volume down so I can hear you a little bit better, like the volume on the stream. Oh, uh, hold on. I mean, I hear it. I don't see it. Yo, I mean the stream. I could barely hear the audio from the stream. Not available in your area. It better be available in my area. They made it available for me to purchase in my fucking. There, area. there you it's go. Available in my area. It's right there. It's black. I can't see anything. It's at the bottom. It's like hover, hover over the bottom of the. There you go. You see it? In black. I see. I see a black screen. Yeah. Let's see. You Let's are see. blind. You don't see that little black task bar at the bottom? It's, there's a full screen and there's a. Oh, okay. I see it now. According to Kevin Kelly, there is a power outage leading to the current loss of security feed. But they better get their fucking shit together. All right, y'all, so apparently there is a uh, power... Well, let me just copy and paste what my friends have sent me because I have no... Let me just update y'all what's going on. You know, wrestling's always better when you can't see it. You know, I, I guess that's not a bad sentiment to have. But I also like to watch the show that I paid money for. This reminds me of Fight TV and all the issues I have with their asses. All right, guys, let me just show you what my friend just sent me. Oh, well, where'd it go? I'll just save this picture. Where'd it go? Uh, 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 uh. Commentators are not even speaking. The commentators are fed up. I can only hear it. Yeah, everybody's having the same issue right now, bro. Everybody's having the same issue. Nobody can see it. Is the closest we're getting to uh, black in New Japan right now. It is starting now. Well, it started already, but we just can't see anything. You see the? Do you see where the volume button is now? No, I do not see the volume button is now. I'm All right. trying to get this. Hover right above the confirm button. You see where it says confirm? Hover right above it. Hover your mouse right there. Hover my mouse over where it says confirm. Over, yeah, uh, above it where the thing okay. is. There should be like no, a don't wheel click or it. Something. Hover. Yeah, go to you the You don't wheel. see that? There you go. Oh. Wait, what? All I did was turn it down. Yeah, that's what I was telling him to do. Oh. oh I, know I, thought you were, on your end. I thought it was a magic trick to make it come back on. No, say like what the hell are you like what the hell are you talking about? But okay. Yeah, no, I couldn't hear you speak. Oh, he's just saying thing broken. Damn, T V Asahi's really at it again. I'm uh, They copyright their own stream this time.
Asahi to get their shit together. Fuck TV Asahi. All my homies hate TV Asahi. $30 for this show. They Black screen. Get this the fuck working. Pay th $30 they to they watch nothing. Woke up and got only three hours of sleep for this show. They better get this shit the fuck working soon. Exactly. I don't got time for this shit, bro. NJPW World. Should I add NJPW? They're back? Is it back loading? Yeah, it's back. All right. Well, finally. Finally. Just as right. you type that what, tweet. I don't know what match this is, but they're on now. That's all that matters. Uh, ooh, You know what? I think I know what match this is. Is this the... Is that Ishii? Why not? It's Ishii. But I'm trying... Oh, it's a, it's a five-man match. It's like Ishii, but I don't know who's on the, on the Noah side. Uh, I think that's... Hold on. Let me uh, go to my match card. I have it on my phone. Well, I mean, frankly, if you know what it is, please tell us. Give me a minute. Uh-oh. I thought Franklin was the connoisseur. Franklin said, give me a minute. Let me look it up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm a... I can't hear you. I'm trying to readjust my volume here. Okay, so it is... Uh, Tomohiro Ishii, Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi, Ryusuke Taguchi, and Master Wado versus Daisuke Harada, Hajime Ohara, Daiki Inaba, Yoshiki Inamura, and Kenya Okada. Kenya Okada was pretty good when I remembered watching Noah the first time. Kenya Okada was pretty good. He reminded me of like a little you know, of um, Abushi. I, I will say that I think if your last name is Okada in wrestling that you're just automatically good because Yusuke Okada was pretty good too. He was uh he was an all Japan young lion. I think he's with DDT now. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know. I don't know. Okada's such a fucking common last name over there that like. Yeah. I know. Be Anyone I've seen in wrestling with the last name Okada has been really good. Hey yo, if you're up, it's like three a.m. over here. If you're up and you're watching New Japan Pro Wrestling versus Noah Wrestle Kingdom thirteen. Oh shit! Watch that one. Not as common as like the last name Suzuki. 13, it's 16. Well, I'm like four years behind. Oh. It's 3 a.m. in the morning, and I'm up watching New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom Night 3. It's the New Japan versus Noah show. It's pretty hype. Not gonna lie. If you're up or you're interested in watching the show, come through to the <laughs> YouTube.com slash C slash Suplex or Twitch.tv slash Suplex. All right. There we go. I have to make sure this TikTok goes up. Twitch.tv. I, I plugged it already yesterday, but I want to just plug it again. So, early predictions. Who do you guys got winning uh, the whole entire thing? Do you got Noah or do you got New Japan winning the most matches? I think Noah benefits more from it. I think Noah wins the uh, the junior singles match coming up. I mean, I'm talking about the entire like show, like overall, who you think is going to have the most wins. I think Noah benefits more. You really think Noah's going to win on a New Japan show? I don't think so. I think I think I think New Japan is probably winning overall. I mean, no Noah wins regardless because this is huge exposure for them. Oh, so. Of course, yeah, yeah, Wado. I see you with when that tornado down. You know, Wado's grown on me. Wado has improved so much over the last, like, two years. Like, I loved him as a young lion, hated the gimmick when he came back, and then he's slowly grown on me. Because, I mean, I remember that before we called Ren Narita Baby Shibata, we were calling Hiraiko Wado Baby Shibata. Oh, I didn't know Hiraiko Wado. When I started watching New Japan, Hiraiko Wado already stopped. He was already in um Mexico. Well, you know, us us cultured folk. Shut up. You know, got anybody got time for your sass, Franklin? 
<laughs> it's three in the morning. It's too early you in the morning take, you take what you can get. It's too early in the morning for that mess. Uh, I, have, I, have I feel they definitely could have done better with the stage. Um, should be a tie. Well, you can't really tie when there's nine matches. You only can do a tie if there's an even number. If it's an odd number, somebody's got to win. And somebody's got to lose. So, somebody. Well, what if one of the matches is a draw? What if it's a draw? Like five to four. It could. It could happen. You know, I'd be fine if Lij versus Congo was a draw because, like, they're both. Phenomenal factions. It really yeah, could happen. I want happen. somebody to win that match. I want somebody to win that match. They better be fucking... Uh, Honestly, after Keno's promo, I'm rooting for Congo. I'm rooting for Congo, too, but I think LIJ... Is I am a massive LIJ stand. Like, well, like you guys a, know how much I love LIJ. There's two main events. There's Congo's versus LIJ, and then there's Tanahashi and Okada versus Kaiji Mudo and Kaido Kiyomiya. I think that Congo's probably beats LIJ, and then Okada and Tanahashi beat Kaido and Kaiji. I'm rooting for fucking Kaido to pin... Okada, but that's like super unlikely. That's not gonna happen. I mean, Kaido... Kaido's been solid, you know, he's just... He's not at that Miyahara Okada level where they've been... He's not solidified as an ace yet. I mean, of course, he's young. But however, you know what I just found out? I just found out yesterday that he's a former GHG champion. I found this out yesterday. That's my guy, though. His like, reign was okay. Pretty good. Um, I think just ultimately, he... He was a victim of Shiyukazi coming back and having a better reign. Mm hmm. Whoever that is. I'm a, I'm a huge Go Shiyukazi fan. What's going on, everybody? The stream is now working. For everybody who uh, was wondering what the hell was going on the first time, we are. Oh, Yoshihashi just won. I totally missed it. Yeah, he tapped out, though. He was in like a Boston crowd. So, New Japan has one point. Yoshihashi just tapped out somebody. Yeah, Yoshihashi's been on a hell of a hot first, streak lately. Uh, New Japan is now... New Japan and Noah got their shit together. TV... Well, not TV, sorry. Uh, Abima TV got their shit together. So, we're on the right track now. You know, Tomohiro Ishii versus anyone that hits remotely hard is just an automatic banger. That is very true. Please note that part of these, these songs is muted <laughs> due to copyright issues. I mean, New Japan says all the time. Who the hell is shocked? Can you imagine, like, if Ishii had gone somewhere else we are... and won the big one? Like, imagine, imagine Ishii and Noah, or Ishii and All Japan, or Ishii... I'm not going to say Dragon Gate because he doesn't really fit the Dragon Gate style, but... What's the Dragon Gate style? Exactly. Dragon Gate is more high flyers. It's very Lucha-inspired. Oh, okay. It's what, it's what you know, is dubbed as Lucha Risu. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. I might have to check out uh, Dragon Gate sometime. Everybody keeps recommending it to me, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you up, pull up. All right, so Yoshihashi actually got the win in this match, which makes me happy because Yoshihashi got the win in the uh, tag team match. My man Yoshihashi won the tag team championships. I'm so happy for him because that man was eating dirt for like the longest time. Yoshihashi is about to be the MVP of New Japan 2022. Let's go. My boy Ninja Mac is going to know. I saw, I saw. Good for Ninja Mac. Isn't he an American wrestler? Ninja Mac sounds like a black guy, too. I hope he's black. If he's black, I'm watching Noah. I feel like Ninja Mac is black. I gotta look it up. Alright, we get ready for the next match. What's up next? Okay, so now we got the singles match. We got Sho representing New Japan versus Atsushi Kodage ver uh, representing Noah. Did I say that right, Franklin? I got my money on Atsushi. He is an absolute junior ace, as good as Sho is, and I'm very high on Sho. Well, three house of torture, because... You know I love me some Sho, too, but nah. They, but, they I mean... the Sho, so he's, he's dead to me. Atsushi Kodage is just very much on that, like, junior ace level. He's he's the Hiromu, he's a Kushida. 
that's what he is to Noah. That's pretty cool. Can't wait to see him wrestle. This is my first time seeing him wrestle. I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't remember seeing him wrestle on the uh, first Noah show that I saw. At least I don't remember that. But to me, he's definitely one of those guys that just he makes their junior division worth watching. And when I think of Sho, I mean, yeah, he's an excellent junior, but he's not a top name. I watch for Hirobu. I watch for Desperado. All right, guys, who y'all got winning this match? We got Atsushi Karage versus Sho. You got Noah or New Japan winning this one? I think Let's Shou go Noah. Because, you know, fucking interference. If they manage to pull some interference bullshit on this show, I'm going to be so Oh, God, no. Fuck's sake. I... Like, can we keep it clean for one fucking night? I seriously hope they will. But then again, it's New Japan. I won't be surprised. After all, it's a New Japan show. Like, even though Noah's featured, it's a New Japan show. Mickey12 says show. We got He got New Japan winning this one. New Japan's going 2-0. I got, yeah, got it again, like... Show's gonna pull some bullshit. Show did just lose at Wrestle Kingdom to uh to yo to yo. So I mean, maybe he needs to pick up the win here. Well, I mean, I don't know. Did Kodoge win at the uh New Year New Noah match? I mean, New Year New Noah show. Uh Which I can't remember. Show? I saw I, I didn't see the whole show, but I did see the Nakajima, Goshiozaki, and Keno versus um Kaido match. Those are both like really fucking good. Especially the Keno and uh, Kaido match. Yeah, I watched Keno Kaido and then I, I I went out of my way to find the translations for uh Keno's promo. Is he watching on Discord? Well I am watching on Discord, but I'm watching in a separate Discord chat with my friends. You guys are more than welcome to join our Discord. Our Suplex City Discord, where likely someone has already um, found a way to watch the show. Likely. Why does it feel like show just adopted like Evil's old ring gear? I mean, basically, they, even though it looks like it looks a cross of Evil's ring gear and um, Assassin's Creed. Like, like he really just found Evil's old ring gear and was like. I could do something with this. It looks like an emo Assassin's Creed kid. What's the guy's name from Assassin's Creed? What's what's the guy's name? What's the bro's name? Uh, Ezio de la... God. Oh, he's Hispanic? Ezio. He's Hispanic? Oh, well, let's go. He's Italian. Oh, he's Italian. Even better. Well, that's like the main guy. He was in, he was in multiple games. All the other ones, I think, have only been in like one right, or two tops. started... This is our official first Noah versus New Japan singles match. We got Sho versus Atsuchi Kodage. I got Sho. It's the only singles match on the show, I think. Well, Dane, you gotta take you gotta take one too. You got Sho or you got Kodage? You got Noah or you got New Japan? Uh, I I kind of know who Sho is, so I'm gonna go him. I I I. So far, New Japan is one and zero. Oh. There's nine matches on this show. Um. I believe that we're going to end the night out with New Japan 5-4. to four, But we shall see as the night goes on. The morning goes on, I should say. Let's just hope New Japan doesn't turn to Monday Night Raw during Survivor Series and just completely book themselves to go over. I wouldn't be too surprised about that, honestly. But then again, I think they're going to throw Noah a bone at some point. <laughs> so, you know. They kind of can't afford to not give Noah any wins at all. Otherwise... That's probably going to be the end of the working relationship, I assume. I think Noah is way too prideful as a company. I mean, this is a company built off of Rebellion. You know, they they separated from All Japan to start their own vision. Yeah. I don't think uh, show a company with those roots. Such a piece of shit. <laughs> pretty mu- and pretty much half their roster like walked out with a... Uh... It was a lot more than half. I think out of like the main guys in all Japan, only I think like three stayed or something, right? I think it's like a Kiritawe and I can't remember who else. I think two of the pillars stayed. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Only two that just, that just shows how um respected Misawa was though, to that company. Oh, yeah, to me absolutely the greatest of all time. Like there's no doubt. 
Like no doubt, no dick. You can have your you can have your Kenny Omegas, you you can have your Shawn Michaels, give me Masala. Alright everybody, hold on one second for everybody who wants to know what is the link to our Discord. I'm gonna send it on Twitch since someone asked for it on Twitch, then I'll send it on YouTube. You guys can go and join our Discord. I don't think uh, anyone has posted a link. I couldn't find one actually. I don't think too many uh, sites are actually streaming this show. So, looks like unless you pay for it, you're probably not watching the line. But, you know, you got live coverage with your boy here. With your boys and your boys, Franklin and Dane. If you guys have heard these voices before, Franklin and Dane's voice, they've often been on commentary with me for our um, 2K show, Map Based Combat, which we have not done in a hot minute because, you know, I've been busy. They've been busy life and shit but they back and now we're watching this new japan show so uh dane um franklin have you guys seen any stardom lately did you guys oh well, let me ask you have you seen nights one and two of wrestle kingdom i've peeped a lot of the main matches i did see the stardom match and i saw there's this there's this new chick in stardom uh, electra uh, it starts with an e it's like Fekla, I think her name is. It's T H E K L A. Tekla. There, yeah, there we go. Tekla. Or it's either Fekla or Tekla. I don't think I've seen her. Yeah, no, but she. <sighs> Crazy athletic. Yeah. I have to look into that. Honestly, she might be the most athletic rookie since like last day on Dragon Gate, who debuted with uh, Masquerade. Yeah, I have high hopes from her. Uh, even though now. What's his, What's it called? Even though now Donald DeMundo has like you know, like seven people. It's like it's a lot of people from one yep. faction. But oh, she's she's coming from Ice Ribbon. Okay, I just looked it up. Yeah, Tekla. There's one more girl who's a part of um Donald DeMundo now. But there's like seven people in Donald DDM. I'm like, what the hell? Why is there so many damn people in this faction? It's like Oedo Tai. Oedo Tai is like seven people in her faction, and that's including Momo who just joined. Oh, Dane, you know Momo just joined Oedo Tai, right? What? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we shot. Yeah, no, Momo joined the Oedo Tai. I, I didn't know that. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, no, she uh she had a tag. It was a Queen's Quest versus Oedo Tai, and the winner uh gets a member of the faction, and obviously Oedo Tai won because Oedo Tai always fucking gets people from other factions. No originality. And then Momo opted to join Oedo Tai and turned on Queen's Quest. I think they're actually doing Momo versus Azumi today. When are they cool. gonna rebuild Stars? They're trying. I mean, they got what's her name? They got uh, Hazuki back in Stars. They got Koguma. They got another chicken star. They're trying. It's just Saida. Stars really don't feel the same still, but you know. Yeah, they need. Stars it feels like everybody real bad. Yeah. by what a tie. It feels like everybody else is like going to every other freaking faction but stars, and they're just like, yeah, whatever. That thing's it's the dead. geek faction. No one wants to go there. It's not geek, bro. It's cool. I mean, if it was cool, why would people not want to go there? I'm just saying. The only thing that's not cool I'm anymore. Just saying, is if they were my... a cool faction, people would want to go there. The only thing that's not cool is Mayu's hair. She needs to change it back. I'm kind of sick of this blonde thing that she was doing. I'm just saying. People would want to go there. So, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Atsushi Kuroge so far? I mean, so far he's doing pretty good. He's, I mean, I, I haven't really seen too, too much just yet because I've kind of been, you know, trying to up the everybody through Discord and Twitter, so I haven't seen too, too much yet. But, you know, I'll let this match progress a little bit more. Is he like a junior heavyweight champion or is he like, how long has he actually been with Noah? I like his gear. Um, I do like he's been around for a couple of years now. He's he's been around for a while. He's a former junior heavyweight champion. Honestly, like when I think of the junior division in Noah, he's probably the first name that pops up. A toxic world ask is evil wrestling, so I can go to sleep. You know, on normal circumstances, I would go to sleep during evil match. You guys know yesterday. I mean, not yesterday. On night two, I took a nap during evil match. However. Because of who is evil facing, who evil is facing tonight, I will not go to sleep during his match. I know there is a good chance evil will still be trash during his match, but I will never go to sleep on a Goshi Ozaki match. Never, I would never disrespect him like that. 
So I will be awake for the evil match. If you know, Goshiozaki. I don't think evil is a bad wrestler. I, I thought he's he was not. great when he was uh, his gay. Gimmick, his gimmick forces him to be a terrible wrestler. It's, it's like it's, we it's all know dick. what he's capable of because of what he did two years, three years, four years, five years ago in New Japan. We it's, all know he's capable it's of dick to go. It's, it's dick to go and like that whole gimmick <laughs> and all of that booking that he's been doing. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm not a fan of it. Nobody is. Trust me. We all hate it. Dick to go needs to go. <laughs> I've been saying that since day one, honestly. I like him though, as a wrestler. Maybe not. As, I don't know about him as a booker. He's probably bad, but he's I don't terrible. know. He's he re- god awful. He ruined the whole landscape of New Japan. He's the reason why I don't watch this shit anymore. I'm watching tonight because Noah's on the show. Otherwise, I would not have paid thirty dollars for this show. Did you watch? You didn't watch night two? No, I watched both nights. That's night two had like. Night 2 had, like, three good matches that I saw. I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched part of it. I mean, the tag team match, the stardom tag team match was good. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, no. Lord. They couldn't help them fuck themselves. See, this is <sighs> what, this is where the Dick Togo bullshit comes in. They couldn't have fucking help themselves. And they're just turning show is that, like, mini evil. Come on, kick it out. Nah, that's it. Oh, I mean, my I, God. I mean, I liked Cobb and Naito, too. Well, I mean, I really? Guess this, I, I guess this was to protect both men, but even still, like, this is so fucking corny. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I, this, is why I had my high, this is why I had my hopes low. I have my expectations low. I'm like, I knew he's going to do some you, cheating. You know, shit. And you, know, you, you guys remember this, when show I, was... If he does this, I wholly expect that he was going to do this bullshit during his match to go Shiozaki, but it's going to piss me off even more. Because Shiozaki does not deserve to face evil. Shiozaki deserved a way better match on the show. I'm just Y'all kidding. remember when Sho had his own personality and he wasn't just, like, mini evil? No, oh, yeah, I remember. That was back when I actually liked Sho. I have my show towel. I have a Sho Tanaka towel, bro. I'm a big Show fan. I wasn't. <laughs> <big. laughs> you were a big Show fan? Well, yeah, who wasn't a big well, Show fan? Well, white. <laughs> you know... And it all comes down to booking. I think Sho would probably be the bigger star if it wasn't for just bad booking. Yeah, and, and it's really just that when it comes to Bullet Club as a whole because, like we said, Evil is a really good wrestler at his best. Sho is a great wrestler at his best. But because of the way they're supposed to... I just to feel bad for this Noah guy. He didn't really get to show what he's capable of in that match. Like, yeah, was, I thought he carried most of the offense in that match. I thought he, I had thought he could have shown really more, see though. A lot of it because... Hey, I had my head down, and then by the time I put my head up, the show cheated. I felt like they they could have gave him more of a spotlight. Like they didn't really let him. They definitely could have. I mean, like he's he's one of the top juniors there for a reason. Yeah, and I don't I don't think that was his best. And also, to do that at like, Wrestle Kingdom, like that's that's wrong. That's fucked up. Bullshit with Go Shiozaki. And evil. I will never forgive them. They, they, they more than likely will. And then we got another fucking Bullet Club match that I'm not looking forward to. Literally anything Bullet Club related, I just, I just automatically just get pissed off. Like I don't care about Bullet Club anymore. It's crazy because in like 2018, any year before that, people were like loud and proud Bullet Club fans. I feel like nobody even fucking likes Bullet Club anymore. And not in a good way either. But people just detest the Bullet Club for what they represent to New Japan. Well, I mean, people detest the Bullet Club because it's kind of a mess right now. And it lost its really damn need. purpose, like. What we really need is for Jay White to come back and save us. <clears throat> I mean, even with Jay White, they do the cheating bullshit. Jay White just with Jay White, I'm just used to it. But also, Jay White so had the personality to... and the charisma and the uh, storytelling to uh, overcome that. I think Evil is very much a hit hard, hit fast guy. You know, he's a uh, he needs pace oh, to be shit, able to have a good Evil match. Undertaker. It's Hayata. I remember you. Well, not emo Undertaker. Uh, Asian emo Undertaker. I just, 
I think that Evil's a wrestler that needs a certain pace to be successful, have a great match. You look at the matches with Okada and the match with Kenny, that whole G127 run, it was a lot about pacing. Yeah. So, Franklin, what can you tell me about this Psyche guy or Hayata? I really don't know. I don't know much about the Psyche guy, but I have seen a couple Hayata matches. Hayata's really good. Um, I'm excited to see him and Taiji Shimori step in ring with each other. They're just kind of not a very threatening uh, heel faction. I, I guess I'd compare them <laughs> to how Suzuki Goons presented, to where they are a heel threat, but they are not a primary threat, if you get what I mean. Uh-huh. Uh, they do a lot of their stuff in the junior division. Togo is in a tag team match. Yes, it's gonna be Dick Togo and Evil versus Masaki Tamiya and Go Ishizaki. Whoa, his it, mask is going crazy. Yeah, let's go Ishimori. You and your extension. I guess you could kind of compare them to Desperado and who used to team with Desperado? Was it Kanemaru that teamed with yeah, Desperado, Kanemaru. or was it Taka that teamed with Kanemaru? Then they uh, did a little single split, and Despy's been singles champion ever since, which I'm so happy for him. Despy's on a card. I think Despy's teaming with ZSJ, right? Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, no, it's... Wait, is it? I'm not tripping. Despy and Doki versus Yohei and Osawa uh, Rangai. That's after the... You know, I could, I could kind of see... Uh, the The... Similarities between Despy and Doki there. You know what's funny is that they've literally muted every single song on this entire card. Yeah, pretty much. Which, even though this is a New Japan show, but I guess because they're on Abima, they had to mute it. <laughs> New Japan is in their streaming platform. <coughs> I was starting off with Taiji and Psyche. Psyche Yoshiaka. Did I say his name correctly, Franklin? Franklin? Huh? He said, did he say his name correctly? How did you pronounce it? Sorry. Psyche Yoshiaka. Uh, that sounds about right to me. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm the best person to consult with pronunciation since I'm not, you know, a native of Japan. But true, true. <laughs> yeah, but at least you watch the product, right? <laughs> Normally, people who watch the product would have a good sense of pronunciation. I I don't think I do, just because like I don't know. I'm I'm very insecure about my pronunciation in languages I'm not comfortable in. Uh, I get that. I That's get that. fair. All right, so so far, uh, New Japan is two and zero, oh, and I think this is where Noah gets their first point. I think probably Hayata is going to get the pin over Ghetto in this match. So has like <clears throat> DDT and like Noah like stayed really separate since they like merged into the same like thing. Well, I mean, um, the closest we've I've seen them working together was the Cyber Fight Festival last year. Oh. At least that's okay. all I know. I I, I don't know. And uh, then where together I think Gleet is also a part of it. I don't know about Gleet. I I'm not a hundred percent sure what Gleet is, but I enjoy their shows. I remember show was a part of the first Gleet show. That's about it. <clears throat> all right, we got Taiji. We got Psyche in the ring. I don't know. Uh, lately, my uh, my big kicker has been Dragon Gate. I've been on a Dragon Gate kicker. I get it. I get it. Uh, I'm I'm a huge fan of uh, Shin Skywalker and then Kai, who I've been a fan of for years, uh, is having a big role. So I'm I'm happy. You know, he's been a freelancer for years. He was kind of projected to be a future ace at some point, and I think that's finally coming true for him. In uh. Dragon Gate. 
Wailing long. Am I good? I am good. I'm tired, but I'm good. Thank you for asking. Thanks for checking up on your boy. So this is obviously one of their uh, junior matches. And I'm pretty sure Ghetto is in here to take the pin. Because usually that's the role that Ghetto fills. He's the one getting pinned. Same with Dick Togo. I think Dick Togo is probably getting pinned in the um, evil match. But that's also the God, I hope really so. good guess. That's just a really good guess. I would probably cry if I saw evil pin go. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm i a huge Evil fan, or at least I'm a huge, like, Evil fan when he was in LIJ. But uh, even then, uh, it, he should not pin Ghost Chicago. So, so what did you uh, think of the first night of Rust Kingdom, Dan? I know you talked about the second night. Did you see any of the first night? I didn't see any of the first night, so I don't know. Mm, Franklin, what did you think of the first night? Um, mid. Yeah, mid. Mid's <laughs> honestly a perfect yeah, way to describe I, it. I hate to admit it. The Shibata match got me excited. Um, yes, Shibata Renderito is fucking good. I love that. Uh, Shingo Shingo and Okada was a great, was a pretty good match. Uh, I I enjoyed great. it thoroughly. Ooh, I'm out of the FR, but you know. Mm. Um. I, I'd say it's great. You know, I, I'd say four stars if we're going because I know we we talked about it. We agreed it was at least four. You know. Yeah. Uh, I'd say four is great, and then five is a is a classic. You know, like. I don't know. When I talked to Ollie about it, he made it seem like it was skippable. I mean, I w would I go back to watch it again? Probably not. I would. Because it's like I don't know. Personally, I don't feel like really the Okada Shingo feud in terms of map quality is like even new japan's top five so um which is honestly so surprising <laughs> okada and shingo are so <coughs> tremendous i really enjoyed the tag match it was nice seeing goto get a win uh, you know i'm a big goto fan and yoshihashi finally getting his due it was nice yoshihashi got the pin um i don't know if i would have gone with that like ending stretch it seemed like the winner was too dominant but you know that's the match I thought would match a night for night one. I like the tag team match a little bit more than I like the main event. I could, I could, I could see that. Not by much, but I did like it slightly more than a main event. Um, I don't think it was as good as Shingo Okada, like as a match, but but I could see it. Now, what did you think of Okada and Osprey? Because there's a lot of people saying that was like a match of the year. Da -da -da. Oh, that was a really good one, and I, I don't like Osprey at all. I thought that was a good match. It yeah, I also I enjoyed. The best match I, I enjoyed ever. Okada Osprey more than Okada Shingo. It was great. I just didn't think it was the best match they had. The best Osprey's, match they had, I still believe, is the uh, G129 um, match. Osprey's Why actually he... acting like a wrestler. Kenta and Tanahashi left a bigger impression on me. I mean, Osprey's been doing good shit for like the last year, Dane. I don't know. I don't know. I've only seen like. This match and then the Shingo one. That's when people so. like call him a, a spot monkey. I'm like, have you seen any of Osprey's work? Oh no, work Osprey's definitely bulked up and changed his style. Bulked up. He has. A, I won't say he slowed down, but he's definitely become more grounded in a sense. Yeah, he learned how to wrestle. Just Kenta and Tanahashi left a bigger impression because of that 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 ending sequence. I didn't really care too much for that match. I can't. Um, believe fucking Kenta almost broke his face, but. Yeah, I think that just for me, it, it left a big impact. Wait, Kenta breaking his face left a big impact on you? Hell yeah. Yeah, the visual of it was pretty gruesome. The blood smeared on the table? I said, who the hell would take that? He he literally, like, fell on nothing. It just hit the ring. But, like, yeah, who would do he, that? He's a G. I don't know why. I, I would never take that. I would never read a fall on basically just the mat in the trash can. That was... and he I don't know what the, the hell the plan was. His face fell into the trash can. That was the worst yeah, part. I don't know what that was. That was crazy. That was a large fall off the ladder, too. Dude, GCW was even probably watching and being like, damn, why didn't we have anyone do that? They probably have. G. Raver, Alex Cologne. They, they got a few wrestlers who are willing to do that shit. Speaking of GCW, right? they're having their... Um, 
Hammerstein Ballroom show. I got a ticket to it, but I don't think I'm probably gonna go. Mm-hmm. Which I gotta sell my ticket now. One of my one of my friends worked uh, GCW as uh, like he caught people, the wrestlers, because he's training to be a wrestler. What do you mean he caught people? He uh he was there as like a trainee, so he was catching the wrestlers. Oh okay okay. They were like near Texas, which is where he's at. So uh, his trainer got him. On the GCW show, catching people. Esteban Muno says that DQ match is basically go with the flow. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I guess you could say the no DQ match is go with the flow. Even though I don't think the flow was uh, Kenta breaking his face, I don't think that was part of the flow. But you know, I just thought the biggest thing that broke the flow was him putting together the ladder. I don't know. Why oh, yeah. they that, got that one was like so that? Awkward. I know. That's what I was talking about. It's so awkward. It doesn't like. Why didn't they get a ladder that was already put together? They, I don't think any. Well, I guess they didn't put it together beforehand. And then if there were another ladder, it probably wasn't put together either. But like, ah, they'll figure it out. They're and like, man, yeah, he'll just out here doing doing his thing. I like this guy. He'll just stop the match and put together a ladder. I think he's happy. I think he's carried this match. Like, look at him, look at him flying all over Ooh. the damn place. Look at look at him. This guy's crazy. This guy's this guy's doing more than the Kodoge guy would have more to do in the last match. Honestly, if you look at Noah's junior division, it's pretty underrated. I believe it. I like the psyche guy. I got my eye on him. Oh, Rana DDT. That's it. Nobody kicks out the Rana DDT. No, someone's getting kicked out. Kick out, come on. Yeah, there oh, we go. There's no, no. that first point for Noah. There called we it. go. Nope. Called it. Noah's first point. Did they they muted every song on this show. That's corny. Yeah, this platform was like, we ain't paying for shit when it comes to music. Exactly. They're like, good luck with that. Double champion Hayat over here with the W. He said, I'm better than that uh, Tetsuya Naito guy at Wrestle Kingdom 14. I have two titles, and I'm not going to uh, integrate them. Well, that's Ibushi, not Naito, but you get the point. I still have not forgiven Ibushi for that bullshit, the integration bullshit. Yeah, that was dumb. I remember I love that. Him, but I'll never forgive him for that. Then again, then again, the, it wouldn't have changed how the booking is, but, you know, they still would have had a, you know, secondary title. You would have had a good-looking good title. I don't think the IWGP US Championship is a bad-looking championship. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like the new world title is ugly. And, you know, it's not good. <laughs> it still hasn't grown on me. I think a lot of people feel the same way. All right, we're getting ready for our next junior match. It's Doki and El Desperado versus Nosawa Rangai and Yohei. Yohei. I mean, I guess Yeah, I believe than... it's pronounced Yohei. <laughs> I, think, um, uh, I think Noah wins this one, too. It's going to be two and two. <laughs> Yohei is probably playing Doki. It's Doki. Doki oh. ain't pin nobody. The, uh, the concept of this faction, I really enjoy. However, uh, Yohei is a horrible human being and an animal abuser, and he can honestly, uh, I, I wish him no success whatsoever. He, like, what did he do? Did he like beat his dog? Uh, he beat a monkey, actually. Oh, what? Did Shingo beat a monkey? Uh, uh, Shingo was in charge of the dojo at the time, but from what it's been documented he did not actually put his hands on the monkey. Uh, Yohei did, and he bragged about it on an online blog. Did they kill it? Yeah. No, no. They did. I thought they did kill the monkey. No, they did not kill the monkey. They just. They did choke it and abuse it severely. It was. It was Jeez. pretty sick. Um. Why the, the hell? Viewers, did I, that was I good honestly idea. apologize. I, I didn't want, want to get that deep into the subjects. Yeah. 
speaking of the viewers, Mickey12 says it's more than ugly, the uh, IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. I mean, I've gotten used to the look of it. I'm not even really complaining that much about it anymore. Uh, Dreamville NPR says, not gonna lie, I don't know anyone from Noah. I only know a handful of people from Noah, so don't feel too bad. That's I mean, at least Super the... Crazy just made it to Noah, also join this faction. Oh, yeah, Super Crazy is part of, uh, part of, uh, Peros Del Mall, right? I saw a picture of it, um, a, a day or two ago on, uh, Twitter, so I know he did join Noah not too long ago. Dreamville says I probably do, but not by names. I got you, I got you. But now we got New Japan coming out. We got the champ, Despy, who actually got pinned a few days ago. He got pinned by uh, Master Wada, of all people, which shocked the hell out of me. But Can't wait for Despy and Master Wada. That should be really good. I don't think Master Wada's going to pin him for the world, for the, uh, for the the championship, but... Should be good. Oh, that's a cool. That's a cool way to watch the ring with your title. Dookie Mania is running wild, brother. You said Dookie Mania. Yeah. Mania. Have you not seen that backstage promo? No, I have not. Where However, he just drops a bunch of catchphrases from like famous North American wrestlers. I have not. However, uh, Dookie does have a like a little cult following now, and I think that's the funniest thing. I mean, how could you not love Dookie? Yeah. Yeah, Despy. Always hitting the Molina splits. Molina wish he could. Despy has quietly become one of the best fleshed out characters in all of New Japan. I mean, with Despy, when Doki first came in, like, I remember, like, nobody really gave a fuck because dude just came in and lost all the damn time, but. He served. I don't know. I always thought he had a cool look. No, no one's ever denying that. Oh. He just threw the mm. junior heavyweight title. What disrespect. I feel like there might be a plague, though. I mean, might have plagued this match right there. So, who do you guys got winning this match? You got New Japan, you got Noah. Uh, Desperado and, and Doki. I'm going with Noah. Uh, just for the simple fact of, uh, fuck Yohei. I think Yohei and I know Sawa's got this. I'm not rooting for the, for the monkey abuser, but I think Noah as a whole is winning this match. It's going to be free and two. How about you, Dan? What do you think? I think you might be right. I think the monkey abuser might win this match. Man just disrespected the belt. Like I said, he might have plagued himself, though. By throwing the belt. That's the I don't know. That. We, don't, we don't know how deep this partnership's going to go. Or this like little thing that they're doing. I'm just saying. Kaido pins Okada, and then you could do Kaido versus Okada at the uh, New Japan 50th anniversary show. I'd like to see Kaido in this year's G1. I'd rather see Shizaki or Nakajima, but hey, if we can get all three of them... Nakajima's already gotten a run, and I think Shizaki's a little on the older side. Not that he's not hey, still yo, don't, a fantastic don't wrestler. Shizaki like that, bro. Wait, 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 not that he's not a fantastic wrestler, I just don't think he needs the exposure as much as Kaito does. I guess. So. My man said he's too old for that shit. Is, is Chris Bay going to be in the junior thing? Chris, nah, Chris Bay's in America, bro. He's on the stupid-ass New Japan he, strong shirt was, nobody watches. He was wearing the Bullet Club shirt. Yeah, I, I know he's in the Bullet Club. I'm saying that he's on New Japan strong. Like, he's on the show that nobody watches. He's a talented wrestler. Nobody's denying any of your claims. I'm just saying that he's not going to be on New Japan. That's what I'm saying. I hope, I hope they change their mind. They, they, they bring him in. I hope so, too. They could use some melon on that show. But, you know, with COVID going on and everything, like, likely not. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure Leo Rush would have already been in Japan wrestling. Pretty sure about that. Oh, did they, they hire him? Well, Leo signed with New Japan first, and then he retired, and then he came back out of retirement and signed with AEW. So, he kind of fucked over New Japan in that sense. Yeah, this man, like, signed with New Japan, and yeah, then, like, 
uh, a month or so later he retired and then like i just don't see later, i don't he came out leo rush is not a very reliable person to have on your roster yeah not really he does this shit all the time he's but like he it's like hiring uh what was that chick the kylie chick those she had like the bailey gimmick that everybody would compare to Kyrie Hojo? no <laughs> No, Kylie from um, Impact. Oh, Kylie Ray. Yeah, that chick has a bad track record too. She does that thing too, where she just like retires and leaves, and it's like I'm leaving the business, and then she just comes back. Yeah. And you're kind of like, what? What just happened? It's a mental health thing with her, but it's still unreliable. Yeah. And that's something that she should probably work out with like the promoters and stuff beforehand yeah so how is everybody in the chat doing how we feel about the show so far i'm waiting for the upper card i think after this is where the show is going to really start picking up we got 11 people watch so far if you guys have not already make sure you hit that like button it helps the algorithm out when you do it pushes out to more feeds subscribe to the youtube channel we're going to be going live about three oh. or four times a week and, of course, make sure you go follow us on TikTok, if you're not already. That's TikTok Suplex, same name. And Twitch.tv, under the same name, Suplex with two X's. And Twitter.com, Suplex, same name, two X's. He just headbutt him in the chest? He did. He's a wild man. Leo's my man. No, Leo's a good wrestler. We're just saying that, you know, I wouldn't sign him. Yeah, he's a, he's a really good wrestler. He's just not reliable because he does the retirement comeback gimmick all the time. <clears throat> oh, wait. Brock Lock. Come on, Despy. There you go. Tap him out. Tap him out. Oh, damn, he reads the rules. Uh... Which I don't, I don't know if it's, like, malicious. It's probably not. Like Oh, probably not. I mean, he probably... He probably like in his head thinks, "Ah, this is it for me," and then he he's not, he's not just incredible where he's taking bookings and just not showing up. I think it's one of those things where in his mind he wants to put it down, but you know he just can't walk away from it, so he comes out of retirement. It's like how a lot of wrestlers feel like wrestling's all they know. So like once they stop wrestling, they all know what to do with their life. I'm not saying that's how he is, because obviously it's music, but, you know, it could be one of those situations. Damn, that was a beautiful dropkick. He got height, precision, everything. Oh, I God, guess. I mean, in his boots. I've always seen that a, a lot of wrestlers over time have this love-hate relationship with wrestling, like Vampiro does. Yeah. Like I no, said, he's talked about because, that. Because you know wrestling's all they know. Damn, the crowd's not popping for them. Ooh, that's rough. They're not Ooh, yeah. They're not over. I think it has more to do with like the travel aspect of it, though, and like not seeing your family. For also, so uh, Yohei's kind of someone who's been publicly shamed. So. Come on, right? One. That was three. Two. Ref had huh? a back turn. That was three. Boo. He got screwed. He got screwed. Mickey12 says it's kind of good so far. I have no complaints about it. Even out, outside of the fucking show bullshit, but that's New Japan for you. I can't really be too mad at that. Ooh. That man has great drop kicks. He How keeps do doing that, that? yeah. He had back-to-back -back drop kicks, too. Pulling them by the crotch line. Come on, Doki. Come on, Doki. I'm barely hitting He's you. like, I ain't catching him. He said, I ain't doing it. He said, you gotta be kidding me. I ain't doing this. I'm actually kind of happy he died. Because I, I, I do hate it sometimes when all the wrestlers just fucking stand there and wait for the die. Like, somebody can move out the way. Like, they're all just stuck in frame. They can't move. 
It's like an invincible wall blocking him and forcing him to stand there and take the dive. So I like that aspect. I like that. He maybe jumped. maybe it's the laws of wrestling. Laws of wrestling, yeah. Once you go for a dive, there's a wall that blocks you in. Unless your name yeah. is uh, Nogawa, then you can easily duck out of that wall. Oh, no, he's going to take off the mask. I almost said, come on, Taiji, but that's Doki. Dookie. Dookie. The fuck? Roll up one, two. I should have called it the Monday Night Raw finish, not the roll up. One, two. Oh, shit. He punched Despy. Despy, punch it back. Punch it back. Punch it back. Oh, come on. No. Punch it back. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. That was cool. That was hold cool. On. Hold up. Hold on. Hey. That was good. It's over. One, Little two. home, Dusty. Oh, a W for New Japan. All right. All right. Well done. All right. First, my, that was my first round prediction so far, but New Japan leads three to two. Same. Hmm. Yeah, nah. I, I knew it. Once they threw the belt, they plagued themselves, man. I called that. I should have just changed my pick right then and there, but I was being too prideful. Damn. But now we're getting well, into the, did he uh, just, the main what did uh, he the did, card. Where did he just put his hand? Did he just grab his nuts? Who, Despy? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend uh, I don't know. Maybe he didn't. I mean, Maybe I'm just didn't tripping. Say that shit. Maybe he did. I'm just tripping. Is that move really called pinche loco? Yes. Thank you, because I honestly I was literally searching my entire brain to remember what that move was called, and I could not figure it out. So thank you for calling it pinche loco. Yes, it is called pinche loco. Doesn't that mean a little crazy in Spanish? Right, Franklin, am I right? Franklin. Franklin done fell asleep. Boo. Everybody boo Franklin in the chat for falling asleep. I don't think he fell asleep. No, I'm still here. Oh. I said, am I right? In my translation, Pinche Loco means a little crazy. What'd you say? I'm sorry, I couldn't make that out. I said, am I right in my translation? Does pinche loco means a little crazy? No. Loco loco would be a little crazy. So what is pinche loco? Pinche is like a curse word for like Mexicans. Oh. Oh. It's a cultural thing. Oh, fucking crazy? Okay. I got you. I, I thought pinching, and I'm thinking like pinch. I'm like, okay, it means a little crazy then. All right, y'all. It's time for the big six man tag. We got Suzuki Goon versus Sujira Goon. Not Sujira Goon. What's, what's the faction name, Franklin? Didn't it used to be Sujira Goon? Yeah. It- I think Tsujiro Goon took over from Suzuki Goon after Suzuki Goon was in over there. Something like that. We have Kazushi Sakuraba. The Gracie Killer. Listen, my man, he had a really damn good match with yeah, Minoru yeah. Suzuki at Wrestle Kingdom 10, I believe, that I fondly remember. So that's really all the exposure I have to Sakuraba. Esteban says Franklin is correct. Yes, Franklin is most certainly correct. He better have been correct. Wait, the next match is the one with the uh, Mishinoku and uh, Suzuki. Yes, Taichi. The mystery opponent. Well, I no, they're I want them to win. Then <laughs> I like I like those guys. Damn, they got they got they're strapped up. All them damn belts. Takashi, not Takashi, um, yeah, Takashi, Sujira, and Kazushi Sakuraba. 
who their tag partner is going to be. I still believe that Murazuki is going to turn on the other team and join them. It's going to be a three on two. Even though I don't know the likelihood is that Suzuki Yum will turn on his faction and join Noah, and then everything's going to be okay afterwards, but. Those are some interesting belt designs. So I've seen like one Takashi match. He's really good at the one match I saw him in. I hear great things about him, though. He can definitely go, but I'd say out of like the Noah main eventers, he's probably my least favorite. Really? Just personally. I haven't really enjoyed Sagira Gun. The Gracie Hunter. Now, Sakuraba, I have tons Wait, of respect Toriano. for. What's Toriano doing out here? Toriano's oh. part of their team? What? Toriano's a part of Noah? Well, remember, Sakuraba was a part of, I believe he was briefly a part of Chaos. Yeah, no, Yano's out here. I guess he's part of the he's part of the faction. And now what I I, I have a feeling Yano's gonna probably cheat and actually uh, turn on his turn on his faction and help New Japan win though. I feel like Kenta probably has more of an undying, an unwavering loyalty to Noah than Yano does. So I feel like Yano's gonna help New Japan win this match. Well, what's weird is, like, loyalty is a big thing, uh, especially when you're a name as big as Kenta. And, you know, you came up through Noah's system. Um, which I know he technically started with All Japan, but, like, you know, like, he made yeah, his like career in Noah. Known, he's known for Noah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, I mean, like, he, he just followed Kabashi, you know. Um Kent is very much viewed as a turncoat by Noah, but he's viewed as an outsider by New Japan fans. Or, you know, native New Japan fans. Yeah. So it creates this thing of, like, Kent is this ultimate heel. I don't know if, like, the current crop of Noah fans feel that way about Kenta. There was definitely a point where, like, they weren't super fond of him anymore. There's current fans in Noah. Also, there was a weird while where, like, Kenta was, like, decently Americanized, and he was, like, having a run as, like, the top baby face, and he would come out, like, wearing dog tags and stuff. You said decently American colonized, you mean? I, I, I don't I don't want to use that word for Kenta, you know. That's not nice, yeah. He just had, he just had fun. It was a little detour. I guess that wouldn't be an appropriate word to use, but... But then, like, <laughs> whenever someone says American nice, I guess I, my translation is nice. Yeah, Kent is not like. He goes a... from, like, coming out in dog tags and, like, from uh, what I believe was, like, hip hop music to Hideo Itami in NXT. Yeah, Kent is not, like, a hostage. I mean, Hideo Itami in NXT was fine. It was when he went to the main roster that they just butchered him. Yeah, but it's, like,. The only thing is that he got hurt in NXT like he had time, so he really even, even now you look at Kenta, he has good comedic timing. He like can be like decently intimidating. He has more range than just being stereotypically Japanese. And I felt that they're like, oh, we got a big Japanese name, so let's just shove into everybody's faces that he's Japanese. Yeah, it's all that W does. That's their, that's what they're known for. Like, oh, they're Asian. They must have a stereotypical gimmick. So here you go. I beg WWE to have a Japanese person or Asian person that's not, you know, feeding into the fact that, oh, I'm Asian, you know? Just be, I mean, I, I, obviously, you know, representation matters, and obviously, show your roots, but, like, not base the entirety of the character off the fact that they're Japanese. I don't know. Is Jiro, is Jiro in NXT, does that, is he, is gimmick he's Japanese? I don't watch NXT enough to comment on it. Uh, Esteban, I, I do think we'll get Shibata versus Kenta within, probably by Dominion. I'd say Dominion's where they pull the trigger on that. I hope so. It makes sense. That'd be three years around. It makes perfect sense to do it at, um, Dominion 2022. And if they do it, I'll watch it. Most definitely. Speaking well, that's if Kenta's healthy by then. 
So. You give WWE stereotypical Japanese I mean, gimmicks. We have uh, so. Takamishinoku's here. Ah, Lord Tai Chi. Yes. Our Lord and Savior. Dane, have you accepted Tai Chi as your Lord and Savior? I mean, he is kind of dope. Oh my I've seen God. some of his matches. <laughs> Javon says, I'm interested in seeing CM Punk versus Kenta. Not in 2022 for me. Who is like, the guy Kenta, that you... Kenta is, is, is really good, but he's also like really watered down from his style that he used to be. And then CM Punk, like he he's good, but he kind of has to be carried. So, and I don't know if Kenta's the guy that... I don't know. Something about that match in 2022 feels like it's not going to work. You based, you, based, bad, um, but... you based Dawson off him, right? You know, I have so much respect for Sakabura. Yeah. I mean, like, what he did in the uh, the world of mixed martial arts was amazing. That that man can retire when he wants. He can do what he wants. Like, and honestly, I don't think there's very many people in this world that would ever tell him no. This guy looks old as shit. Bro, Sakuraba is out here. is an ass kicker, though. He is like, old. this is a Suzuki-level badass right here. He's old, but this man out here, he, he be... He be... Niggas, so. oh, like he may not be as charismatic as Suzuki in ring, but but he's definitely like one of those men that that deserve the title of battle. Suzuki versus uh, Kazushi Sakuraba from Rust Kingdom ten or nine, like a match was great. It was a straight strike. Though. I thought that was an underrated match. Very underrated. People don't talk about it enough. My first time seeing Suzuki live was against Nick Gage. How the hell did you manage to see Suzuki live against Nick Gage? So were you. Oh man, he's doing the uh, the Mongolian chops. He's doing the uh, Great Okan chops. These are the Triple H knee too. Let's go. One of my favorite matches was Sakuraba versus Nakamura. It's what got me back into wrestling. I haven't seen that one. What what show was that from? Definitely sounds like an older show if you're saying huh? Nakamura. And again, Sakuraba versus Nakamura. Nakamura versus Nakamura, you said? Yeah. Yeah. I I think that's pretty early in the Sakuraba coming into New Japan. I think that's when like him and Shibata came together, and I think they were like they were something seven. I think it might have been like last seven or something like that. Mm -hmm. Him and Shibata were briefly a tag team. F Cax SC says I'm still going back and forth on if I should buy this pay per view right now. Well, I mean, we're halfway through it, so I feel like you're a little late. I wouldn't pay $30 for a pay-per-view you missed half of, honestly. I mean, we're getting into the, the the really good stuff, but I'm not paying $30 for half of a show. At least I wouldn't. I don't know about you. Do you get to replay it after? Is it a one-time thing? I think you get a replay for 14 days. Oh, okay. I mean, in that sense, maybe, but still. If I'm paying for a pay-per-view, I'm watching it live. I'm not I'm not paying for a pay-per-view that I'm not going to watch till the next day. Because at that point, I could just get it by other means. You don't like, you don't like pre-taped pay-per-views? No. <laughs> it's pay-per-view live. Live for a reason. If it ain't live, I ain't watching that shit. I mean, I'll still watch it, but I'm not. I'm not paying money to watch it. The point of a pay per view is to watch it live. If you're not watching it live, it's not really pay per view. It's pay per vod. I don't know. TV I don't know. View. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that, but I, I agree it should be live. I mean, would you pay sixty dollars to watch a but, fight from? But that's like Rumble? saying to say it's a not a pay per view anymore would be like okay, well, if I watch Royal Rumble nineteen ninety two, it's not a pay per view anymore because. So I looked it up and I was close. He came in as part of uh, Laughter Seven, not Laugh Seven. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, given the fact that that was in two thousand and twelve, that was ten years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say my memory's still pretty solid. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
I just remember Minoru Suzuki is the KOPW twenty twenty two champion. He's up against the uh, former champion right now, Yano Suzuki. So, you know what might be funny is if Yano pins Suzuki in this match. I can entirely see that happen. Hey Tyler, what's up? Buy or sell uh, Toru Yano's reign as KOPW champion or MJF's reign with a diamond ring? No, MJF. Without question. Without question, MJF. I mean, number one, that's kind of unfair because you're asking me about a show I watch every week versus a show I barely watch at all. So, it's a bit of an unfair advantage for me because I, I'm immediately I'm going to say AEW. But the KOPW yeah. trophy annoys me. The stipulations, they're fun for the most part, but I think a lot of the part of the time they're stupid. Like, you can't really take the title seriously. It's a 24-7 championship, but just for New Japan. Hold on, hold on. You're going to be talking about taking titles seriously and AEW's putting their fucking world titles the first match on their TBS debut? What's wrong with that? That's a dumb decision, putting your world title. Just put it on the pre-show at the pay-per-view. That'd be great. The world title. Wait, what? <laughs> you do realize they do. They only did that so that way they can go 30 minutes. You really... You can do that in the main event, but by that time, people will know how long the match is going to go, contingent on how much time is left in the show. If you start off the show with a championship match, people will no. know how long it's going to go. Especially with the fact that the last match was an hour long, you could kind of tease the fact, oh, it might go an hour because it was a two-hour show. If you do that and the main event starts at fucking 8.50, then you know it's going to go an hour. You can't really guess that after you open up the show with that. So logically, it didn't make sense for it to open up the show. No, you don't now, put you I don't put your world, the show. You don't put your world title the on the card. Match? But I don't know, but given the storyline, well, it makes sense. I'm talking about the one that had the finish. I'm talking about the TBS debut. I, I just told you why. Yeah, it's dumb. Don't put your world title on the beginning of your show. It's your world title. Uh, Javon says, so the TBS championship is equivalent to the never title. I mean, we can't even call it the equivalent because it just it, it just came into play. You can't call it the equivalent to anything right now. We don't even know what the position that the title is going to be. It's a women's championship, ultimately, so we know it's not going to be positioned as, <laughs> as a main title, but, you know. Not a knock on the women, so it's a knock on AEW's booking, so. But if you guys are just tuning in, we are watching the New Japan vs. Noah Wrestle Kingdom 16 Night 3. We are currently watching uh, Takashi Sujira, Kazushi Sakurai, Minoru Suzuki. versus Minoru Suzuki, um, Suzuki, Takamichi Noku, and Taichi. Favishi, what's going on, man? I haven't seen you in a chat in a long time. How you been, man? Get up. Get up! Who, who are you cheering for? They're both down. I know. I mean, make the tag. Who? They're both down. No, Suzuki, make the tag. Oh, you gotta say. I'm like, you can't say get up and they're both down. I'm like, what oh, are you he, talking about? The team that I told you I'm cheering for. Oh, how would I have known that? Oh, I said it earlier, but. I like this team. I like everybody on that team. I've always liked Taka Mishinoku. I know. Taka is coming. I like Kai and Tai in general. Who didn't like Kai and Tai? They're liars. That's what they are. Well, you don't like Dick Togo anymore. Well, I never <laughs> liked Dick Togo to begin with. He was good when he was in WWE. He was doing moves that, like... Nobody else was doing. Like, come on. Just He's his good. mind for wrestling isn't the greatest. Oh, That's wait. fair. Lamaji Stra. Oh. But he's at least a good wrestler. Like, you still can't knock him. No, he's at least at the time. Well, he's like old now. Like, <laughs> I didn't watch Kai and Tai growing up, so I'm only going off of what I know now, and he's terrible. That's fair. I know about Kai and Tai. I didn't live through Kai and Tai though. So I can't really comment on his kind side run. I I just thought I just thought for the time period he was innovative. Yeah, but you're going based WWE. off of the past and not the present. The present Dick Togo is fucking cheeks. So, yep, it's over. W for Noah. One, two. W for Noah. 
Now we're three and three. I'm so mad. That was a good W for them. It was a pretty important one. Yeah. I wanted my team to win, though. They're now tied going into the main three matches left on the show. Which I think next is actually the Goshi Ozaki match, which I'm scared for. I'm scared they got to send my man out there just to get fucking nerfed by fucking evil. Say something bad. Yeah, next is Dick Togo and Evil versus Masaki Yamiya and Goshi Ozaki. You know, Masaki Yamiya doesn't exactly have a great hardcore fan base in Noah either. I don't know anything about Masaki Yamiya. I know he's got. I know he's challenging for uh, the GHC Heavyweight Championship. So yeah, there's a lot of people that are happy about that. I, I've I've heard people call him a big dumb oaf. A big what? You know, I personally like Masaki Yamiya. That's not my personal opinion on him, but but I've seen some people have some pretty harsh opinions. Last time I'm Togo wait. was good was in ECW. I'm yeah. waiting for the THC title. Oh God, Masaki Yamiya and Dick Togo might just be the two most hated men on this card. If I'm not mistaken, wasn't Ogawa and Zach partners at one point? Oh, I, don't know. I can't, I can't really confirm nor deny. Uh, was anyone else gutted when Osprey lost? Gutted? No. Was I? Was I like, like, oh man, I kind of wish he won. Yeah, I was like that. I wasn't gutted though. No, I was, I was, I was happy with the result. <laughs> Uh, I seriously can't wait for Congo versus Lij. Congo are awesome, man. Kano Nakajima are fucking awesome. I can't wait either. I, I still want Congo to win. I got Congo winning. That yeah, match. honestly, Congo versus Lij is why I'm holding out. Sleep. Maybe if I, I watch. I need Nakajima and Shingo in my life. If for nothing else on this card, those two and to see uh, Kaido and Okada. Maybe if I watched this regularly, I would be, like, tired of Okada, but I don't watch this regularly, so. I mean, I'm not even, like, the point where I'm, like, tired of Okada because, like, Okada wasn't in the main event for, like, the last two years. So, I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm fine with him being the champion. It's just that he, he only performs at his best twice a year. So, I'm a little, I just don't really care to see him wrestle like that anymore. It's like, I know what he's capable of, and he's not performing at the level. And you could say, oh, but he's injured. Like, okay, well, take fucking time off then, and heal up. You could have took time off the last two years. You weren't champion then. You weren't main eventing then. Oh, man, the evil match is starting. Now everybody's leaving. Damn, that's crazy. You see that, Franklin? I don't it's kind of understandable, though. I don't blame them. I would leave if I saw evil wrestling, too. I... They just realized there's no stardom match book on the card. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not going to see Saikon with Tommy tonight? All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Fuck, we fuck out. the rest of the card. Ty, how you doing, man? It's been a while since I've been on here. Oh, I'm doing well, man. Been better, but I'm doing well. The crowd is leaving because... When the crowd the goes, match is next. That person just put on their coat to leave. You know it's serious. <laughs> they out. They said we may come back for the rest of this car. We don't really know yet. Yeah, main event: Okada and Tana versus. I still, I still believe that they should have replaced Kaido. They should have swapped out Kaido for Shiozaki. They missed an opportunity to do Tanahashi and Shiozaki in the ring, bro. They really missed the opportunity. Because now we got to see uh, Muto go in there and then try to have a really good match. Because it's like, I love Muto to death. You know, he's a legend and all. But the man, could, man can't really go the way he can anymore. Is it really that bad? I haven't seen him recently. Um, it's not horrible, but, like, I definitely... Do not believe he should have been in this match. I believe it should have been Shiozaki in this place instead. They should have swapped spots, in my opinion. Kaido's a killer. Kaido's gonna come in here and nerf everybody, but Muto, yeah. I mean, you got Okada and Tanahashi. I'm sure they could bring Muto to a, a, a semi-good performance, but still. 
you would have benefited work rate wise so much better with Go being in here. That's because imagine seeing Go Shiozaki and Okada in the same ring in 2022. I still love bringing up the time that the Great Muda produced a child with the mist and hustle. I don't know anything about that. I just looked it up. They were partners. Zach, they were partners when Zach was in Noah. Okay, I felt the same way, honestly. Nothing against Muda personally. Yeah, no, no, nothing against Muda personally. It's just that he can't can't really go at his age. So, seems kind of like a waste to have him in the main event. Yeah, well... What's going on? No, I was saying, I was about to say that I felt the same way when I watched my first Noah show, and he was Ooh. in the main event against um, Kaido Kiyomiya, and, like, the match was not very good, and it's like it wasn't Kaido's fault. It was the fact that Muto was slow and could barely do anything. I thought they gave him a pity ring, basically. Like, thank you for your contribution. Here's a title ring. And then, like, the entire title ring, he barely fucking had any good matches. Hey, they showed Naito. That was one of the only reasons I watched Night 2. One match I'd love is Konosuke Takashita versus Kizuchika Okada. You're the reason I got it to Puro more so. Thank you. Hey, no problem, man. I wish I watched more Puro, but, you know. Takashita and Okada would be great. That was funny. Uh, Esteban says agreed. I agree, too. Uh, guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm about to grab me some water. I got some coffee, but I don't have any water. I got to hydrate. So I'll be right back. Of course, uh, Franklin and Dane are still here, so they can keep me covered. Hell yeah. Yo, Franklin, you still here? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Uh, what you got? Barely, you got but I'm hanging on. I'm trying right. to make it to Congo. Are you tired? Uh, yeah. So these next few matches, who who are you the most excited to see in these next coming matches on the card? Who's like your boy that's coming up? But just three more matches, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know anybody from Noah. The whole time. Oh, you don't know anything about Noah? Nope. Yeah, me neither. So this is going to be really awkward. Plus, Tyler comes back and talks about New Japan. We just talk about WWE. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Invasion. Yeah, WWE and New Japan. No, I mean, you saw the premium, but that's clearly an ad for other premium services. Oh, my God. It's Braun with the... The NXT world title. He just walked in. Wrong breaker. <laughs> yes. Imagine. He made the jump. With the title. Imagine. Yeah. <clears throat> He's going to defend it here. On this show? Yeah. Open challenge. What answer? Uh, I don't know. Will Ospreay. No. <laughs> My boy Jeff Cobb. He's, he's hurt. No, he's not hurt. It's a lie. He it's a not lie. hurt. <laughs> too good. He's a storyline injury. <laughs> hey, Fabe, brother. He's probably sitting on the, you know, under an umbrella right now, drinking coffee. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. I'm back. I think we're ready for the next match. Yeah. The semi Thank you for breaking the awkward tension that's going on. It was awkward. <laughs> oh, no, what awkward tension? Is that an Ali's yeah. laugh? Do I hear Alejandro in the chat? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Ali's the He's been here the whole time. He just wasn't talking. Right. Oh, I didn't know. I, I've been here since the beginning. Oh, man. I was just muted the whole time. <laughs> Listen, I haven't looked at the Discord the whole time, so I didn't know. Hey, yeah. it's the ace. 
and Mas and uh, Go Shiozaki. Go Ace. Which which one do you like? I don't yeah, right know who there. these the guys guy are. The guy with the blonde hair. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, the, they both have blonde hair. Uh, the, <laughs> the guy, the, the guy with the training red jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why do you hate? Why do you hate this guy? This guy's a good look. No, I I haven't seen <clears> him <throat> wrestle. I don't know anything about him. Oh. I've seen Go Shiozaki wrestle a good few amount of times, and he's great. He can meet us. A solid powerhouse. Yeah. He looks cool. Yeah. She goes, like, let's go. He's I would cheer for the these Okada guys. of Noah. That's, that, mm, Frank, would you say he's the Okada or Tanahashi of Noah? Tanahashi. He yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's Tana. He's Tana. Especially with, like, Tanahashi, you know, carried uh, New Japan through the uh, period of after Enochiism and uh, Go definitely carried after Misawa passed away. Yeah, so I would say he's the Tanahashi of Noah. Though he is slightly younger than Tanahashi. He's like 39, I think. Uh, Which is weird because, like, Go kind of started out as a jobber. Yeah, 39. Yeah, Tanahashi is like 45 or something. He's a jobber? He's a jobber. Oh, man. You know, the only thing that sucks about this is that they muted the best theme song on the whole show. We won't get to hear the glorious disc that Dick is. Dick Togo. Yeah, fuck Dick Togo. Oh, his name's a tribute to uh, Massa Seato. I don't know who that is. Uh, you can try to look at more Josie Wrestling Suplex. Hey, listen, I do plan to get into TJPW a bit more this year and watch more. Oh, uh, the storytelling. In... What's up? That. Nah. Company's really yeah. good. Evil two belts, maybe. I said the storytelling in uh, Tokyo Joshi is usually really good. The wrestling sometimes, man. Yeah, <laughs> Evil Two Belts has gone from IWGP World and IC to Two Never as well. What up, Reed? <laughs> also, my man got grills in. Either that or he hasn't brushed his teeth in months. I don't know. He got the snit. Get the got you got the grill, the chains. I got snitsky vibes going on from Evil right now the... with his fucking yellow ass teeth. You just need the foot fetish gimmick. Oh my god. Dick Togo, he looks like a dictator of a country. Oh, he's a dictator? A <laughs> dictator, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's his new gimmick name. Dick Taker. Hold on, hold on. King of Darkness. Evil. Evil. You gotta see it the, like the fucking announcer. It's elongated, Franklin. It's Evil. The superstar. Yeah, exactly. You, you gotta say the elongated version of the name, like superstar. Superstar. Or John Cena. Moxley. Moxley. I was about to say Moxie, but I'm gonna <laughs> say Cena instead. We need somebody who has their name pronounced like Malachi Black, though. We need a regular first name and then black, just like no, you need it one name. Remember when Christian came back and they're like, "It's Christian." <laughs> <laughs> you need someone like that. Where they're like, they're not sure. <laughs> I'm still kind of mad that uh, Justin Roberts doesn't say Trent with a question mark. Trent? Yeah, he doesn't say Trent with a question mark. It's just Trent. Actually, I think he did in the beginning, and then he stopped. Trent probably got mad. <clears throat> well, he should have been fucking the fucking name then. Like I don't know, I don't know why he'd be mad. You put the question mark in your name. Exactly. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Whoever that guy is. Yeah. That guy. Looking like a creative wrestler from SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. His name's uh, Massa. I don't like that. Fat ass, fat ass Massa? I don't like that name. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me find out his last name so you can just call him by his last Kita name. Kita <clears throat> Yeah. Goshi Ozaki looks like a Tekken character. And this is a lot of the aesthetic to him that I like. 
I mean, I don't know what second character he looks like, but I can buy it. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Oh, that was the uh, turn. What the fuck was that? I don't know. I like his what gear. It reminds, me, it, it reminds me of Mr. Fuji's old gear when Mr. Fuji used to My wrestle. Man just glitched. Did y'all see that? Yeah, I saw <laughs> that. that was weird. He just glitched for a second. What the fuck? Maybe he's one of those wrestlers that doesn't like to bump. You ever seen Abdul the Butcher matches where he's just like, I'm not going to bump. Mm-hmm. Uh, can this not be a tornado tag team match? Dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> hey, man's up, yo. That was so unnecessary. That was so unnecessary. Poor Jim Ross. He took a bomb. Dead. Yeah. They don't they don't kill Jim Ross again. No, that was the Spanish announce table. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the time when J- Jay White launched Jim Ross like into oblivion. Uh, 2018. <laughs> Bro, they fucked up that nonsense. That was that was crazy. <laughs> he sold. <laughs> he did sell that pretty hard, though. They pulled the whole table down. Still ruined right? him, damn it. <laughs> you should have done backflips and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a front flip. <laughs> a front flip. <laughs> he, like bounces off of him and just flips into the table. He's gonna put a rain ticket jacket off and just start fighting evil. He's gonna help Noah win. win. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna turn on New Japan. You know what I rewatched the other day? We all see. We all see. Only yeah. Chad's watch. We all see. That's great. Think Hook is good, or is it just his booking? Uh, Hook is great. Hook is really good in the ring. I shit on AEW a lot, but Hook is really good. Hook is great. I didn't watch this match from last night because I went to sleep in preparation for this show, but I'm gonna watch it afterwards. Did anybody watch Rampage last night? Who watched Rampage? Well, that's why I asked if I watched Rampage last night. Dane, Franklin. Nah. Well, I, I can't I ask the, Dane. They don't watch fucking niggas. I watched, I watched the TBS one. <laughs> Franklin. Oh, Franklin? I'm sleep again. Yeah, I don't blame him for going to sleep during this match. It's evil. <laughs> And then evil man. Look at him holding yeah. evil's hand. Oh my hand. That's Maybe a very sensual move that he was doing there. <clears throat> one, two. I actually want Noah to win this match. Two. I think everybody wants Noah to win this match. One, two. I think even New Japan fans want Noah to win this match. <laughs> oh, they remember evil's title reign, don't they? Evil killed New Japan. I made a title of a video of that two years ago and people tried to cancel me for it and now everybody well, keeps saying it so well tv saeed tv saeed tried to cancel you for it too yeah exactly and then look i was right then now no one wants to give me credit for it fuck darts yeah i watched that uh that collab video that uh your boy, uh, I think it was Joseph did. Joseph Matsilo and Forrest Sobe. Hey. Yeah, I think he mentioned that podcast in uh, that little video that he did. Where he's, everyone picked a match for him. Oh, oh, why was in that video? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I picked, um, I picked, um, Stadium Stampede. <laughs> yeah, you did. That was a weird pick. Yeah, I know. But I know he liked that match. Is why I, w- I only picked it because like he critiques AEW a lot. So I'm like, I'm going to pick a match that he likes from AEW. Just so that way he can praise AEW. So I picked... Um, oh, he's an AEW hater too? No, he doesn't hate AEW. But like... he Joseph, I love him. He's a heavy critic though. And I'm like... I, I know what he's biased towards. And it's mainly like old Japanese matches. So like if it's not old oh, Japanese oh, matches, he's likely not going to love it. So I'm like, mm, what's one AEW match that I know he loves? Oh, Stadium Stadium. All right, I didn't want you to. I'm going to give you this match because I know you're going to praise it. And then he like low key didn't, and I was like, all right, Joseph. All right, I guess. <coughs> he said some good things about it. He, did. he said that it was. He's he didn't hate it. I still love him though. He's still my favorite Gordon Ramsay. Oh, he, he has a great channel. Yeah, you know, I love like I love Joseph. I don't watch him regularly, but when I check him out, he's always good. 
We got Dick Togo in the ring and Masa Kitamiya. Yo, my man's not hooking up. My man's is not hooking up. Oh my lord. Is he gonna do the U? Okay, now he did Larry instead. Yo, Tyler, is it a good show so far? I mean, it's good. It's not great, but it's good. Yeah, Shiozaki. It's an interesting show. I think these last three matches are going to really judge how the show is because the undercard, it wasn't anything to brag about. It was fine, but it wasn't anything to brag about. And I'm, I'm a heavy critic towards shows I pay money for. If it's TV or if it's... Yeah, Shiozaki, go with them chops. Go with them chops. Go ahead, pull your shirt down, pussy. Well, he's dead. Yeah, like if it's a if it's a TV or if it's like a regular show, like you, whatever. I like what I like. I like what I, I don't like. What I don't like. But if I pay money for a show, then I'm a heavier critic on it because I, I, I literally pay my money to watch it. So. Oh, oh I knew that was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah. Hold on for you. Yeah. There we go. This is wrestling. Dude. Yeah. 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 I hate New Japan, bro. I hate New Japan. Some disrespect. Oh, Ooh. that would have been a perfect time for him to like duck and then like they hit each other. I love that spot. Like the heels accidentally hit each other. What's that Seth Rollins tweet? I hate football more than I ever hated football. There we go. I hate New Japan. More than no. I've. Yeah, let's go. Let's beat them up. Yeah, let's go, Master. I'm gonna have that tweet on standby in the event they lose. Yeah. Oh, no, you lost. Shut up. This guy's cool. Beer. Like Big dog. So, uh, it's to uh, Edge. The big damage. <laughs> yeah, Shiozaki. Put them chops in. Oh, wait. It's over. It's over. Bit him, bit him, bit him, bit him. Bim Buster. The move wasn't even done. One, One pin him. Two. two. Ah. Evil, what the hell are you doing here? Go it's home. part of the match. What do you mean? Go home. Get, get mm. evil out of here. Go home. He's part of the match. Send them to NXT with Eo. <clears throat> Evil. Did he call it the prison lock? The prison lock? What? Lariat. They're gonna hire yeah. Evil. E Evil looked like he's like 50 years old. Hit him. <laughs> One. Two. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> he is no abyss. Let's go. Should I tweet? In dead silence. No new Japan lock? No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna be petty. It's time for the magic we've all been waiting for. Yeah. Hey, the battle I was excited with... to see Goshi Ozaki, and I'm happy that he won. <clears throat> this is the best <clears throat> decision New Japan has made all year. LFG. <laughs> The year just let started. What? <laughs> this is the best decision they made all year. January eighth. Exactly. You heard what I said. I am not lying. I kind of wish that... they had more one on one match. Yeah, I wish too, but you know they had to protect their talents, so that's why they did a bunch of tag matches, which I still don't like. But yeah. Uh, honestly, if that were to happen, the other matches wouldn't have happened. I think it should be hard to find time to have good singles matches simply because of time. 
should have stopped. No, they could have put singles matches on the show. It's not a situation where they couldn't. They absolutely could have. They just didn't because they didn't want to have wrestlers, you know, getting pinned. Especially the top guys getting pinned. I mean, it's good because they're all representing, like, factions, though. Yeah. Let's go, Shizaki. Honestly, I'm not against having Masa or uh, Go versus Evil for the Never title. I like, yeah, I like this guy. Yeah, Masa's good. I did not like him. He did his thing. He did his work. I mean, he had a a lot of people's favorite, but I don't mind him. He had that one weird moment where he like paused he just the match. Glitched. So. I don't know what that was all about. I think I think what was what happens is that Go Shizaki was on the ground and he couldn't run. I think that's what happened. But it just looked like he was yeah. stuttering. He just forgot. He's like, oh, he forgot to run. <laughs> something's going on. But yeah, I thought that was a uh, that was a fair match. What did y'all think? It was all right. It was good. It could have been a little stronger, but it wasn't bad. It was good. So this is more likely going to be a temporary thing. I don't think long term they're going to have this long standing relationship where they're going to be, you know, hand in hand, sharing talent every week. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it should be every week. I think they should do it every every once in a while. That'd be cool. That would shake things up. Yeah, plus, Noah's about to start working with WWE since WWE walked through the Forbidden Door. They're like, oh, AEW has New Japan? All right, well, we're going to take Noah. <laughs> we're going to see Go Shiozaki in the Rumble. Watch. I remember the last time they had foreigners in the Rumble. <laughs> oh, I forgot this match was still... Yeah. The one dude just threw himself yeah. out, remember? Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all sleeping on this match, bro. Y'all, y'all better stop sleeping on Marifuji like he ain't nothing. He's good. I've seen him. I just figured it'd be like before the last match on the card. Yo, the knockouts champ is going to be in Rumble? Yeah, we were all freaking out about it yesterday. I still can't believe it. I mean, like of everybody in the Impact Wrestling roster, it makes sense for Jimmy Mickey James, considering that, you know, (laughs) she was a mainstay wrestler in WWE. This is a... This is the, I'm sorry I put your stuff in the trash bag. (laughs) Sure. <laughs> now my question is is she gonna have the championship with her which i think is no there's no i think I, they should that'd I, be I, awesome i would be on the floor if she had the championship with her <laughs> she brings out the championship and then fucking nikki bella just takes a big old shit on it <laughs> I could see her bringing the title to the ring, and then everybody takes turns fucking stomping on it. And then they eliminate Mickey. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if they want... petty like that. They would do some but bullshit they... like that. I know, but, like, do they really, like, Impact right now... Do you think they would give a shit about Impact Wrestling and their relationship? I, I highly doubt it. I think this is... I think they like... should. I think they should, though. At the end of the day, WWE's number one. If this relationship fails, they lose nothing. So I, I, I feel like if WWE really wanted to, they would do that bullshit, knowing that what the fuck is Impact going to do about it. I know, but Impact could offer them something. What? <laughs> they could offer talent, that's it. Impact, they've worked with... Imp, no, they've, Impact they've, can they've, offer talent, and that's it. Impact cannot done, help WWE no, they've in done, any way. They've, they've, done, they've done exchanges for one night. They've talked to them and had footage of TNA before. They talked about TNA on the network with with uh, pictures and footage. So it's not like they don't have like communication with each other. It's not like they hate each other. I didn't, I didn't say... There's not an open line of communication. I said as far as what... Yeah, so why would you offer, damage that? So why would you damage that? Because they don't need impact. Like, what are you, they Vince Russo? Need, I mean, like, I mean, we, if we're being honest here, WWE went like 20 fucking years without partnering with anybody. They don't need to partner with anybody. I'm not saying I don't want them to. I'm happy that this is happening. But we're not going to sit here and pretend like they're be- they're being benefited by impact because... If this never happens, is the Rumble going to shape up any differently? It wouldn't. There would just be another spot in the Rumble filled by somebody else. That's all it is. I'm happy that it's happening, but we ain't about to sit there and pretend like WWE needed this more than anything. They really did not. 
No, but the fact that they have that communication is good. No, no it don't, is. It is. But I'm just I don't saying, think that they should. I don't think they should. And that's really it. I don't think they should ruin that by stomping on a title for like two minutes in a moment that people are only going to remember for like a few months. Oh no, people will remember that moment. That's gonna be that's gonna be sketched in memories for a lifetime. Yeah, they're gonna put it in documentaries. It's gonna be like <laughs> WWE. It's gonna title be on Dark Side of the Ring. <laughs> Dude, I remember when Mickey James was in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> and they all took turns like fucking stomping on the title, then they eliminated her in like twenty seconds. Where were you? God, it's that? so weird seeing Marafuji that that buff. Yeah, Marafuji's out here. Uh, I'm, Con- and shit. I'm Conrad Thompson. I was there that night. Actually, I saw uh, Mickey James get <laughs> stomped on. It was kind of crazy. We got Yoshinobu Kanemaru and Zack Saber Jr. versus Naomichi Marafuji and um and uh, yeah, other guy. Um, other guy. Cool guy uh, <laughs> well, so disrespectful. What's the guy's name? Let me look it up. Uh, uh Ogawa, uh, Ogawa. Yoshinari and Ogawa. Yeah. The only cool guy WWE could use as a crossover is Moose, but the WWE crowd won't know who he is. Oh, Moose is awesome. I like Moose. That's that's the thing about WWE as well is that you you really can only if you want to pop, you really can use people who the crowd knows. It's like most W. Okay, so. I'm going to go as far as say as majority WWE fans probably don't watch m- other promotions. The majority don't watch other promotions. So they had to go with Mickey mainly because people know Mickey because Mickey was in WWE for 10 years. If you start throwing in Moose and Jordan Grace and all these other people, would it be great? Yeah, but like, would they get a good well, why you do I don't, vin- I don't know. That's why you do vignettes for them. <laughs> Also, when it comes to Moose, like, you know, he has that NFL background they can draw from, too. Exactly. Moose is a superstar. He is a star. Um, also, Moose which, is which one? 100%, you know. Me is a draw. He, Moose, yeah, he could definitely be a huge draw. He is a huge deal. I'm sure he could. He could talk. He's big. Um, he's a, he's a good wrestler. Um, this dude's a draw. <laughs> I mean, we'll, uh, see, we'll see how it goes. I just feel like this might be a one-off deal. I don't think there's going to be some big challenge. Especially, I now, don't see I choose to look at the Mickey James thing a little bit more positively than most. No, I do too. I mean, I don't see don't be handing them anybody, but, you know, it's good for impact. Um, I feel like, to me, Mickey showing up on WWE is the only thing that could, from a shock factor, pop Deanna's reign. Um, and to me, that just proves that you know we've we've seen the Knockouts Championship in so many places, and I think it just defines it as the premier women's belt in my eyes. Hmm. Ali, what's your take? It's a draw talk. Man, what? Now. What do you mean, all white? Have you not been listening the entire time? I mean, you're talking about Impact and WWE, but I don't know what's the main topic. That, that is the main topic. That's what we're talking about. And, you know, just... Yeah, I mean, it's you, cool what they're doing. Like I, like what Tyler said, I don't think they'll send someone from WWE to Impact. I think they should, honestly. But I mean, we'll see what happens. But I doubt it. I highly doubt really they're sending it. anywhere from WWE. Just like I said, we'll see Roman. Roman. Also, the fact the WWE even that chose to recognize that belt on its own is just a huge no, thing. It is, it is huge. It's it's it, it, it's crazy that that's even happening. But I'm saying, yeah, I'm pretty sure Mickey's going to lose the title. Is there a belt that's done more for women's wrestling in the past few years than the Impact Knockouts Championship? The TBS Championship. <clears throat> That's cap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I kid, I kid. No, the knockouts title is really important for women's wrestling. Though, no, it absolutely is. It changed women's wrestling in America. At least in the modern time. Mm, maybe like maybe 10 years ago. I don't know about yeah. now, but definitely like the late 2000s. Oh, yeah, that was a groundbreaking championship. Yeah. I mean, you, you had Everyone... to be honest, Green, that was really, really good. 
and everyone's doing pillow matches and you're the one I actually mean, doing real wrestling matches wrestling fans but nowadays that's a tenth of their audience from 10 years ago 12 11 13 13 years ago they had like 1 million viewers like they have 100,000 now that's a tenth of their audience so i mean it's it's a great reign in itself but as far as like, oh, the the women's the, the knockouts championship is doing, you know. I'm wondering when they're gonna apologize like to. It really isn't. Now. I'm wondering when the WWE's gonna apologize to Gail Kim and tell her she was right. About women's wrestling. Nah, never. <laughs> never. Gail Gail Kim has said so much, talked so much trash on them. I highly doubt they would ever even want Gail Kim. I don't know. Like in this partnership, I ha- I highly doubt they're even gonna. WWE WWE is not as bitter as you think. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They brought in. Yeah, they, they brought in Bischoff. They brought they bring multiple people back. They they offer CM Punk a freaking contract. Like, come on. Like, they're not bitter. Yeah, they are. Just because you can name two examples. Out Ultima, of like, Ultimate Ultimate Dragon. WWE, they're not bitter. There's multiple people that shit talked them that they brought back. I didn't say they didn't do. I said they are a bitter company. You can name me. Uh, two, maybe in, you. Maybe you can the name sense me of two of two hundred. Yeah, but still a better company. Not two. It's not two. It's more. But anyway, focusing on this match right here. He's breaking his leg. Yoshinobu Kanemaru. I feel like he's underrated, but then I feel like there's a reason he's underrated because like he doesn't really do too much of anything. He is very much. In that, like, Rocky Romero category. Yeah. Yo, Zach's shaking that yeah. ass for the, for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, make him tap. Cracking Neomuchi's face here is hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Hey, look at this double submit. Right. Oh, that was um, cool for like two <laughs> seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I go, all right. <laughs> Yo, I was popping for that before they messed and it then, up. As soon as you started popping for it. Imagine Kenny Omega in the Impact Zone in 2021. Roman Reigns in the Impact Zone. There is no. Yeah, no. I, fucking hell's going to freeze over before Roman Reigns goes to Impact Wrestling, bro. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Hell's gonna freeze over. Cats and dogs will rain. Jesus will come down. They, they, they send. They're only gonna I send mean, Roman. We got over a better there. chance of it being like Roman in Okada than like yeah. Roman and Kenny. They're gonna send Roman over there with freaking COVID and give the roster COVID. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, we think, did get think, Jay White. I think Jesus is gonna come to Earth finally before Roman goes to the Impact, bro. Jesus already came back to Earth. It's Jay White. <laughs> Oh. Jay White's gonna be in the Rumble because he didn't show up last year. Yeah, well, Kenny's gonna be in it. He didn't show up the last four years, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I thought this Young Bucks injury was working. They were gonna have a tag team match of the Usos at the Royal Rumble. It is a work, brother. Ooh. Yeah. The the door is busted wide open, and now AEW is gonna work with the, uh, WWE too. Yeah, I just can't wait for this Chris Benoit guy to come back. This whole work about we talk about <laughs> you know when we get this they're... Chris Benoit and Kevin Sullivan payoff, it's it's gonna be really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about forbidden doors. The gates of hell staying closed, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that door might be too forbidden. The gates of hell are staying closed, like I said. All right, maybe it's for the best. Yeah, I think it's for the best. Lost all respect for Mickey James after this. What? <laughs> you lost all respect for Mickey James? What? Cause she, she, cause she got her bag. What? Get banned? Uh, how is night three going so far? Is it too much? Uh, I would say. Not enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like this match. No, no, no. It's not a bad match, but definitely don't feel like it's been a a, a phenomenal show or anything. I don't think it's been worth the thirty five dollars I paid so far. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like Wrestle Kingdom. No, it feels like one big collab show. It doesn't feel like a. It doesn't even feel like a big show. Like you'd expect the show like this to feel like WrestleMania. It really doesn't feel like that at all. WrestleMania. Yeah, it's Wrestle Kingdom. This is WrestleMania. And then on top of that, it's a it's a double show. This would be like if AEW and New and uh, WWE had a super show, basically. 
except like the Super yeah. Show had like a bunch of tag team matches. It'd be like if AEW and Impact had a partnership and you just send over Kenny Omega. Oh. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> compare it to that because Impact is not even on level of Noah or, or New Japan, so I wouldn't compare it to that. That's not nice. Impact's okay. No, we're not going to say it pretend like Impact is the number two promotion in the world now. They're not. <laughs> not yet. You let me know when that happens. It I'll already have, did. I'll have a hundred dollars ready for you when it happens. It has to happen again. It has. It, it did happen. Oh at one yeah, point. I know it happened at one point. <laughs> Duh, I'm talking about right now. That's not the case. Tell me when it happens. I would get a time machine. I'll show you. I just said it happened at one point back in like <laughs> fucking 07 and like twenty. Oh, dude, like his balls are gone. Yeah, he fell They're straight, gone. He fell straight on it too. It's inside of him, dude. You remember the great Muda baby storyline? Yeah, we just talked about it like a little bit earlier. Yeah, I did talk about that. The great Muda where he spit the mist and Aki Bono came out of the woman. Her name is like Ying Ling or something like that. It was Hustle. It's crazy how Dodi Atu refers to her as knockouts champion. It is. And then she's going to come into uh, WWE and she's going to be attacked by Nia Jax and... Kayfabe injured. Do we know Nia Jax isn't working for the company anymore? Yeah. I mean, Mickey James don't work for the company anymore either, so. Uh, Hustle also had uh, the wrestler Razor Ramon Hard Game. You know what's crazy? At one point, Mary Fuji was Kenta's Marty Jannetty. Oh, yeah. Mary Fuji and Kenta faced off like, what, like 300 times or something? Uh, I don't know if it was that many, but they, they were tag partners they, for a bit. They, they started a lot of times, apparently. They came up in a very likable babyface faction called Burning. And that Ooh, was part of early the kick. Main event Mudo, can he bump anymore? Ha, ha, ha. Um, he can, not well, but he can bump. I don't understand why Mudo's in the main event. It should be I Kaito said, and Chico. I, Said it, too. it should have been. It should have been Suzuki in the main event. It should not have been. Don't bump yeah. his ass to the retirement home. That's what he's doing. I'm just kidding. Uh, may, maybe, maybe Mudo could have put it over Evil. Yeah, I mean, I nah, I'm not gonna go for the tag. You can have him in the back. Uh, uh, still pissed, M- Mudo, Mudo versus Evil. <laughs> I honestly haven't thought the knockout division has been doing as strong since Tessa and Gail Kim. Oh, yeah, at its peak, Impact's knockouts division was the best. I don't know. Deanna Perazu was doing badass matches. No, she, she is. I will, just a couple months slide, ago. I won't slight Deanna at all. Deanna Perazu is one of the best wrestlers right now. <laughs> Not she puts on bangers. Who? Oh, Jay Cargill? Uh, she's okay. She's Didn't good. New Japan have Marafuji go over Okada in the G1 a few years back? He did, and then they had a match at King of Pro Wrestling, which Okada beat him. That was a G1 yeah. Um, if if they make Marafuji lose to uh Kanemaru after beating Okada in the G1, <laughs> I want a company to hire Big Soul and prove AEW wrong. Probably WWE. Yeah, let's push her to the moon, guys. Let's make her a star. I feel like I don't think Brady were to be the person to go from AEW. I don't AW think AW for AW Big Swole's health that uh, she should be wrestling consistently. That's fair. I mean, Crohn's is a pretty scary thing. They still did her dirty. Oh yeah, I mean, like I'm in agreement there. I just don't think that she uh, she ends up signing anywhere else full time. That's fair. Could she be in a rumble? Hmm. Big swole in the rumble. I mean, she didn't get released. Her contract expires. She could go to Rump- she could be in rumble if she wanted to. That'd be a pleasant surprise. <laughs> that would be cool. I mean, I don't know. What was her name in WWE? It was MJ Jenkins, right? I think it was MJ Jenkins. I don't know. I don't remember her in WWE. Well, she was in a Cruiserweight Classic. I didn't watch the Cruiserweight Classic. 
Have you mean the Mayan classic? Have Wrestle Kingdom made you get back into New Japan more? Not really, no. <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest, not really, no. Uh, this third night is making me want to see more Noah. But as far as New Japan, with the evil bullshit and the new bullet club, no, not really. Yeah, he said he's saying Noah. Am I watching Noah. this shit? Noah, Noah fucking way. Am I watching New Japan, bro? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, this is get cool. that combination in. Get that combination in. Ooh. Oh my gosh, yeah. he just killed Let's him. Let's go, Fuji. Let's go. <laughs> Somebody's grandma fall? What the hell? It was Alejandro or something. I don't know. What? Is that your mic? I said it's somebody's doing grandma that? fall. No. Not yet. As soon as COVID's over, we're getting AW guys on New Japan. Well, yeah, we keep saying that, and it's been like two years. When when COVID's over, I'm like, bitch, when the hell is COVID going to end? Never. Yeah, exactly. We're going to keep saying when COVID's over. Yeah. Ooh, tell me when that ends. One, two. Kick out. I feel like I hear that every single time. Well, when COVID ends, we're going to... All right. <laughs> you let me know when that when that comes. Damn. You ain't had the rocket shit like that. Slice bread. It's over. Noah, baby. Hey, is it 3-5 now? I think it's 3-5 now. Big money. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 3-5. Big money, Marfuji. Exactly. Let's get it. And there's only two matches. Wait, are two matches left, right? Two matches? Oh, that means they're going to tie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Am I miscount? What? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm still counting nine. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. How is it three and five then? And I can't even push those. No. They don't, they're irrelevant. Um, hold on. Hey. Uh, New Japan. New Japan. Noah. 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 No, wait, hold on. Franklin, I'm, I'm fucking up here. Is it three to five? Uh, like I'm Noah, not sure. I feel like Noah won the last two matches and it was tied for a second. But it can't be three to five. Is it three to five or is it four to four? Well, it can't be because only there's only been six matches. So I gotta I've had to fucked up somewhere along the line because there's only been six matches so far. I know it's not three. But to I thought three. there was nine matches total and there's only two matches left. Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? It's three to four then. What well, can't be? I feel like no one just won the last two matches. Well, no, okay, maybe it is three. Okay, anybody keep a track. Is it three to four or three to five? I'm pretty sure it's three to it's three to five, but I might be wrong. Is Despy pinned? New Japan won the first two matches, and then Despy got the pin. Well, Hayata pinned Ghetto, so it was two to one, and then Despy got the pin, so it was two to two. Then. An evil lost. Well, yeah, that makes it three to two. But then who won the? Uh... Suzuki Gear match. It was Suzuki Gear, right? Versus LIJ? No, Suzuki Gear. Who won that Suzuki Gear? I thought that was um, Noah. Gear gun, right? Right? I'm pretty sure it was Noah because they had their arm raised. Yeah, right. yeah, so it was three and three, and then it's. Yeah, three. yeah. Noah, so Noah won that one. Three, four, yeah. Okay, so it's three and four. Hey, Congo! Let's go. Let's go. This is the match oh. everybody's been waiting for, baby. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm headed to bed after this. Oh, you gonna you gonna go to sleep on uh on Kaido? Damn, the disrespect. Yeah, I love Kaido, but I'll have to catch that tomorrow. I got I got plans in the morning. Alright, alright. Alright, everybody, comment down below who you guys got winning this match. You guys got Congo or LIJ? I I'm uh I I got I got I got Congo winning. I think Congo win. We got Alea, Tadasuke, um, I don't remember the other two names, uh, Keno, and 
the current GHC heavyweight champion, Tatsuhiko Nakajima. Let me not forget, Kanosuke is the national champion, too. Manabu Soya. Manabu Soya, thank you. Manabu Soya had a great run in Mudo's company as Russell 1 champion. Alea. Orange Cassidy. Yeah, my night, Busoya. Is he crying? He's like, oh, I'm going to lose tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, goddamn it. And oh, this is the guy right here. This is the guy right here. And then this guy, saying. and then this guy's the goat. This guy right here walking around. Honestly, like I saw this dude as a junior, yeah. and I'm just like, what is this bleach blonde like dude? Like, like what? He's got he's got a different swagger about him. Katsuhiko the goat Nakajima. Yeah. The crazy wolf. He used to be uh, the genius of the kick when he was in the in the G1. Hey, I love how the world champion's just in the back, like, yeah. Well, that's his gimmick. He's he's kind of like their lone wolf. Yeah, he he's, uh, he's the, what, what's the, it's not alpha, it's beta. Uh, what's the other one? Omega? Omega? Sigma. No, no, Sigma. He's a Sigma male. Uh -huh. Sigma? He's a Sigma. I think, I think if I'm a booker, and definitely if I'm nose booker, Congo <laughs> has to win this. I oddly want to see Nakajima and Darby Allen because they're both Sigma males. You know, oh, yeah. as as big as like Shingo's coming off a of rain and like Naito's probably like the best like merch seller in the entire country of Japan. Uh, you know, you have Congo with two championships, two heavyweight championships. With that you can't have Congo lose here. It's Rey Mysterio. Booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> <laughs> Boo -she. You know, Ollie thinks of Rey Mysterio. <laughs> he does not like the man. Uh, let's see. We got we got Lij because Naito's gonna get the pin over who? That was the question. Uh, Rarwick says he didn't get the Lij. Would prefer Congo though. And Ben Grimshaw says Hiromu is the best boy. Uh, here comes Cornball Sonata, I bet. It's Hiromu. Is it? I'm pretty sure that's Sonata. Oh, no, you're right. That's Hiromu. That's all the bright lights. Yeah. Stop. It's a Hiromu yeah. on the time zone. Oh, I didn't see that. My bad. No disrespect the man. Hiromu. Light it up. Light it up. Light it up. Light it tonight. Light it up. The homage to AJ Lee. The king himself. Uh, I thought it was a Wizard of Oz tribute thing, but you're right. Nah, it was definitely A.G. Lee. Get it right. Yeah. Kevin Kelly here talking shit about Congo. That's crazy. That's not a... Uh... Boo. Boo. He's not that bad. Does Kota Bushi need his own stable? Uh, he hasn't had his own stable his entire run in New Japan. I don't think so. Future War Champion. Imagine being Sonata and uh, Shingo comes in from the outside and wins the world title before you. You should have stopped that. Imagine being Sonata. Yeah, that's not what I said. That mask is kind of lit, though. I'm not going to lie. I can't, I can't find that video anymore where you do the top moments of Sonata and it just ends. Oh, yeah. I mean, I had to take it down because of the fucking TVSI bullshit. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> tell people about that video all the time. Channel, Dane. I do remember that. Yeah. Shingo. Here's the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, wait. Never mind. Why is this why is it a little pointy? Yeah. yeah. Red Hood over here. All right. It's pointy hood, too. Yeah. It's not good. Put, it, put, put the hood down, bro. What did you say, Tyler? <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> Put the hood down, boo. 
Shingo Takagi over here. Corny. Move this man. Huh? What were you saying? That er, earlier I said, imagine being Sonata and Shingo comes in from the outside and uh, ends up winning a world title much quicker than you. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. And I said, imagine being Sonata. You know, I find it kind of funny how Shingo was the world heavyweight champion, yet, like, you know, two nights later, he's coming out second. Like, the main event is Naito. That's kind of corny. Well, I mean, Naito is the the leader. Naito is the GOAT. Man, no, I tried it. Shingo was the leader when he was the champion. Now he lost the title, and then now he's no longer, he's no longer, like, you know. Naito's always been the bigger star. I mean, I love Shingo, but, like, Naito's Naito. (laughs) Corny. Dude, I told you he's one of the only reasons I watched night two of this shit. Cause I wanted to see His that match. match. Was cheeks though? It wasn't that bad. It was cheeks. Uh, Boy. by the way, uh, Nakajima's G one run pretty good. Uh, him versus Michael Elgin is one of my favorite matches from that tournament. Michael Elgin. Michael I think it closes out B block that year. Squad deep. Now just imagine if he was still part of LIJ. I wonder if Bushi would probably. Insane. <laughs> He's like melting something at us. He said, "Everybody subscribe to uh to uh." Suplex. Yeah, everyone subscribe to Suplex. This guy is Did not. Did you a forget subscribe. about the Golden Elite? Oh, I didn't. Naito said, I got a bad knee. Let me take my slow-ass time walking down to the ring. You need to put some respect on this man's name. I don't know what it is with you and picking on superstars. What I do? This guy's a superstar. No, I love Naito, even though I don't really I uh, agree to the ideology that he and Okada should be having a rematch, but I like Naito. you a hater. They had a storybook ending of Wrestle the 14. They really don't need to have another match. That's true, but... Fight forever. Fight forever, yeah. The book should be closed. Now Okada's gonna be Naito, and then it's like, okay. You hate this man more than you hate Mayu Iwatani. Not <laughs> just kidding. I mean, when yeah, Naito yeah, yeah, oh, you, eventually you, had their match, I'm gonna be rooting for Naito. So you admit you hate Mayu Iwatani more? No, I don't hate Mayu at all. I got this, man. This man on blast on the whole entire internet. I don't hate Mayo at all. I'm sick of the slander here. Every time you, there's yeah, a match, you vote the... everyone else. Oh, Bushi. What's this guy? Yeah. What's he doing? Ticking time bomb. What character is he dressed up like? A what is country? that? Boo. Yeah. Yeah, the goat. He's supposed to be an octopus. Future war champion right there. If what? In w- he should beat Okada. He's gonna beat Okada. In w- Shingo! <laughs> and the guy who couldn't hold on to his championship for longer than six months and lost it to evil. You're the person who ruined all this shit, you know that? If you want to lose to evil, New Japan who? would have ruined Naito! I you better not. I fucking said. If he would have held on to the championship, New Japan would still be in a good place. He's a hater. No. So tell me I'm wrong. If Evil never wins the championship, New Japan probably wouldn't suck as much. No as if it was on. his decision. As if it was his damn decision backstage. Be like, oh, I want to put this Evil guy you know over. He should have went to business for himself <laughs> and fucking kicked out. Went in business for himself. Yeah, yeah. that's what he should have did. I End up not know. having a job. Yeah, that's that's a very smart decision. Yeah, they would have fired Knight. So okay. You don't know. Yeah, like they're gonna fire Shibata for going into business for himself. They ain't gonna fire Shibata. They might freeze this contract. Plus, New Japan openly lets their roster go on fucking interviews and talk shit about them. So I wouldn't be surprised if he did <laughs> for himself and then they didn't do anything. New Japan is the only wrestling company I know that wrestlers will go on there and be like, yeah, I don't like the fact that they did this. Or yeah, this fucking sucks. And then New Japan's just like, okay, here's a championship. Good. Actually, you know what? Never mind. AWC did that all the time. Let me not say that. 
AWC did that all the time. That was the whole locker room. It was just like, let's shit on the owner. Nah, Naito should have at least had the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. He did, and then he dropped it, and then New Japan sucked afterwards. Like I said, it's his fault. Yo, yeah, we, and then when he wins, it, it's going to be great again. Are we starting off with Keno and Naito? Um, I'm here for that. Let's start off with Keno and Naito. We'll gradually make our way to Shingo and Nakajima. Oh, wait, never mind. Nakajima said back up. Back up. All right, we can it, start off. It's his fight. We can start off with Nakajima and Shingo. I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. That's what I wanted all along. <sighs> Don't be a pussy, Shingo. No, why is he just? Why is he, he's just chilling. He's doing his best uh, CM Punk impression. What do you think he's fantasizing about? He's fantasizing about appearing in the War Rumble at number thirty, and being eliminated no. by Roman. <laughs> Man, it's some bullshit. Nobody asked for your dumbass to be in the ring, bro. I wanted to see Shingo. I wanted get to your, see him. Get your no hair on having fantastic. ass out of the ring. Nobody asked for you. Shingo's leaving. Shingo's walking out. Yeah, he said, you know, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit, bro. I already lost at night one. Didn't even get the pin at night two. Now I'm being robbed of my match. I would have left too, Shingo. I don't blame him. He's probably about to go punch a monkey in the face or something. <laughs> no. I hope not. Hello, I meant longer. They also need to stop playing hot potato with the championships. I don't think they do. New Japan's usually good at holding uh, title range for long periods of time. Except for in 2020. Here we go with the tornado tag shit. <laughs> it only took off 20 seconds. This is chaos. This is LIJ. What are you talking about? I yeah, know, but chaos. what's going on outside the ring is ca- it's not the <laughs> that- <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> you know what I meant. Got Keno and Shingo in the corner. Dude, uh, they're fight. Corner. They're fighting like they just announced the war games. This is what they used to do in like NXT. Anytime they announce war games, everyone just start punching each other randomly, and you'd be like, "What the hell's going on?" That's what they do in Survivor Series too. Yeah, they do the same. You're right. They do the same thing during Survivor Series. They're like Survivor Series just gets announced, and then everyone's just punching each other in the face. <clears throat> Rumble. Someone say Donda. If we say Donda enough times, maybe uh, Congos will win. Donda, Donda, Donda. Donda, Donda. Donda. <laughs> like the song, yeah. Yeah, something on him. Oh no! It's working. Donda, 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 Donda. <clears throat> He's laughing about it. He's like, you guys are weak. Congo is hey, like that face, bro. Not gonna lie, LIJ is looking like a bunch of bitches in this match so far. They're the heels. Well, they're doing piss poor job with their heels. Yeah, aren't they? Don't the heels usually take advantage so that you can. Sympathize with the baby face. Yeah, I mean, you just say like Jerry Hill, so. I don't know. Hiromu, oh, see, Knights of them pussied out. He said, I don't got time. I, I, I can't, man. This is embarrassing. Yo, get Bushi in the ring. Let's see mask versus mask. The hell? <clears throat> Titty drops. Yeah, he's trying to slap his nip. They're trying to see how firm their titties are. His nipple's gonna fall off. 
Nipple spot. Nip slip. <laughs> <laughs> On live pay per view. Oh man, I got what I paid for. This layout guy is uh, pretty fast. Oh. These two could have some banger matches against each other. Mm, seem like they could. We'll be opposed to it. Damn, this guy's really fast. Frank Quinn. Yeah. Have you seen much Aleha and Noah? Say that again, sorry. Have you seen much Aleha and Noah? Ooh. I can't make out what you're saying. I'm sorry. Aleha, the guy who's masked in the ring. Have you seen much of the guy that's masked in the ring in Noah? No, actually, I was uh, I was trying to look into some of his stuff uh, before the show. No, oh. maybe he's Rey Mysterio, low key. Yeah, he's doing he's doing some good ish. Like I said, he's pretty fast. Hey, it's Bushy here. Which one's which? Ooh. What, what if they, like, switched masks and outfits before the show? What? <laughs> Just, like, see if anyone notices. I'll be you and you be me. We, we all wear masks. Mask, like, wait a minute, I'm Bushy. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Thought twist. Alex Ollie has joined us. He said, I just woke up. Would I miss anything good? I don't know. Has there been a uh, good match on here? Would you guys say? Uh, last match was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, the man are right for me. And this match is pretty decent. What I love about Shingo, he can really work with anybody any size. Franklin didn't even cooperate. He just said, no, nah, all these matches are trash. <laughs> oh. Huh? I said, have he... there been any good matches? Alex all in his chest says, anything good been on the show? Like, anything good happened so far? And then you didn't say anything. I'm like, oh, he thinks all the matches are trash. Like, Thanos said, I don't know. Yeah, kind of. Who's legally in the ring? Is it Shingo? I guess Shingo's legally in the ring now. Oh, now Bushi's legally in the ring. Okay. Maybe it's Dominic. Dominic Mysterio? Double hand chop. I do think that'd be a funny concept, though. Other masked wrestlers just trading masks for a night. Just pretend to be the other one doing their moves. <laughs> Boosh Rooney. Ooh. That was smooth. Hey, my guy. <clears throat> they really took the title off Shingo for Okada. Yeah, I don't th I don't know why you'd be too shocked about that one. Okada's been out of the championship picture for two years. They said enough is enough. <laughs> I love it when I go boast. But I love it when they do this where like everybody yeah. just beats up the dude and they all do the same move. I was the referee not noticing all the noises. Congo has Congo has the best cohesiveness of any faction I've seen in a long time. Like, how is Lij so broke up right now? Oh yeah, they work together brilliantly. Um, you should see some of Masquerade's entrances. No, I mean like they're putting Lij to shame with the way they're being so cohesive right now. 
Which is crazy because commentary was putting over LIJ as the bigger unit. LIJ's barely keeping it together right now. Oh, that's a pairing right there. Oh my gosh, he's swinging them. Cesaro swing. Except with everybody inside. Jano! So, for anybody watching in the chat right now, what has been your match of the night so far? Ooh. I get that Okada was out of the title picture, but he really doesn't need another title right now. I agree with you. I agree with you. I don't think he needed another title right now. But New Japan is getting impatient. When in doubt, give a cut on the title. Exactly. I like this method. Nakajima. Yeah. He used to grab Bushi's hand and force him to attack in Shingo. That's some straight nigga shit. These nuts. Eh, got him. The startup show. The startup show just began. I'm gonna have to try to avoid spoilers because I don't want to know the results for Ozzy versus Momo, even though I have a feeling that, you know, Momo is probably going to beat her, but, you know, still. I don't know. Everyone said that Momo was, like, hated by Bushi, so Bushi Rose. Let's go, baby. So. Did you know that could have all be BS? I like that getting beat up. Now we have to see Knights over Zokata for the 50th time. Yeah. Of course. Now is the first few to go to. So you know Naito's not beating him. Well, to be fair, huh, Okada's feudal with everybody already. So, like, there's no new opponents for Okada at this point. The new Okada he, opponent was Shingo, and they've already had four matches, so. Has he feuded with Dick Togo? Um, he basically... <laughs> Dick Togo Okada. He's basically feuding with Dick Togo. <clears throat> Dakota Togo and Okada. If you flew with evil, you basically flew with Dick Togo. So I didn't want to say yes, you did already. Maybe he fights one of these guys. <clears throat> he got Sonata in the ring. Don't have Ibushi challenge Okada when he comes back. I know Tyler just closes his eyes during this match. I almost did. The only reason I'm still up is because Ken was in the ring. Yes. Close his eyes because he doesn't like Sonata. And the fact that there hasn't been Knights of Resolve Spray is sinful. I still don't know why they haven't done Knights of Resolve Spray. I don't know what they're waiting for. It's like at this point, you might as well blow it off. It's not like you have any other dream matches left. But Wrestle Kingdom keeps passing, Naito keeps getting older, so I don't really know what they're waiting for, honestly. You know, if they were going to have another more contenders match, Walter versus Tetsuya Naito is a great one to have, and then Naito can go on to face Okada from there, even though I still wouldn't agree with it, but, you know, that'd be something. Leapfrog! Oh. Those eyelids look heavy. Yeah, Sonata's wrapped in, bro. That's why.
I'm watching on the Obima app. Is your video choppy? Mine is. No, I'm watching on uh, my PC. Obima is not choppy. Choppy, choppy, yo, pee pee. <laughs> oh, kind Thai reference. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a good kind Thai reference in your life. Exactly. We were just talking about kind Thai earlier, so. Hey, Christian Nexus, thank you for the follow on Twitch.tv, brother. I appreciate you. Hopefully, you're enjoying the show. What's been your favorite show so far, Christian? Oh. Let us know. Favorite show? You mean match? Match? Favorite show. Yeah. That was cool. Oh, man. He has the uh, cold skull. Dragon. Oh, uh oh. Damn. Oh. He said, fuck your shit. Fuck your life. Damn, get on the top rope. What are y'all doing? I like how a lot of people are not even standing on the rope. They're just like, we're just going to observe. Hey, we got Knights and we got Kano. <clears throat> oh. The ref disqualify this man. Those are closed fists. Damn. Fucking Robo up. I literally woke up from a dream where Malachi Black hit me with a black mask and a mask. LOL. Miguel Amaguer, what's up, man? LOL, TNA did it again working with WWE. Like I said, good for them. Big steal for them. Last shot. And a mod to Adam Cole, baby. Kano was all elite. Oh, wait, he's got the... Oh, there's a neck lock. Mickey James in the Rumble? Yes, she is. Hell yeah. I feel like yeah. this match is a little all over the place. I like this match. <laughs> Referee does need to gain control, though. He needs yeah, to tell these people like said, to stop. It's all over the place. Like, it's, it's tornado tag rule. <laughs> Not much structure in this match. They're building to Shingo and Nakajima, though, which I do love. Bro, me and you always have it worse watching this on the East Coast. Yeah, you got that right, bro. Being East Coast does not have its benefits at some times. When it comes to watching shows overseas, the only uh, non-benefit to being East Coast is that it's less convenient. If you're on the rest coast, it kind of is because a lot of the times these, these shows happen like 11 p.m., 12 a.m. Over here, you got to be up until fucking 3 a.m. to watch these shows. Got like oh, boy, 3 a.m. This is back elbows to the neck. About to set up for the Destino. Valencia. Oh, Gloria. Damn, those are heavy strikes. Who will get the upper hand here? Oh, miss. Oh. Woo! Damn. Oh. Hey. Oh, I can't. 
nice sequence. Nakajima's in a ring. They're waiting. They're teasing Shingo. Even though, like nobody's on the rope right now. Cool. Bucci. Woo. Hiromu. Bam. Getting everybody down. Have somebody fight Nighty. Call to me, call to me. I want to know who this team person is and why she's calling us. Must be pretty important. So do you guys have a pick for who you guys is going to think is going to get the pin in this match? Who's going to pin who? Uh, no. Naito. Naito's going to pin them all. He's going to stack them on each other. <laughs> stack five men on each other? Yeah. I feel bad for the guy on the bottom. Yeah. Some guy is about to turn into a bottom today. What? <laughs> <laughs> but, oops. Good joke. Really clever. Yes, yes. Here we go. Give me a hail. Let's go. Damn, Shingo comes in the ring and starts putting to work immediately. Not wasting no damn time. I thought that was the finish. I'm just kidding. Just this one move. That would have been impressive. Yeah, but you wanted to see these guys all night fight, and if he did one move and he finished him, like no, I'd have been disappointed. I, but it would have still been impressive. Woo! Got the kick and chest lap battle. Missed the elbow. Uh, here comes that light, Jerry. Ooh. They're doing that thing again where everybody does the move. Yes, sir. I love it. Shingo's going for the pumping bomber. Pumping. Super kick. Okay. Oh. Backdrop. I like how they're paying attention to this and they're not just like cutting to random other people fighting outside the ring like other companies. See, that's so stupid. Yeah. Aw, good boy. Boo. Why well, know who's in there to take the pin? Tag team action here from Congo. Swanton. Do you see the writing on the wall? Where's your Bo Dallas? <laughs> I can see it. <clears throat> 
Double lariats. Double lariats. There we go. Sliding bomber. Yeah, Shingo. Eat him alive. Oh, we go for uh, Made in Japan. Oh, that's a dragon. Everybody's getting hit. Like I said earlier, it's a new attack rule. Oh my gosh. Woo! Tope got Hilo! <laughs> Suicide dive. Shingo, your turn. Here we go. Pumping bomber. Coin pumping bomber. Let me still fighting back. Not going down so easily. About to give it this pumping bomber to watch. Corner bomber. Oh. 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 There you go. It's always putting in work. There's the pumping bomber. This match is too much as at the main event. Now it's the co main event. Setting up for one more. Pumping bomber. No, that might be enough. Yeah. No. No. I'm kind of surprised. Time for last of the drag one more time. Cool. Here we go. One. And LJ gets it. LJ gets the W. That's the big one. And you hear? I should. Woo. I said, put that shit away. I mean, I was betting on Congo, but I'm not mad. Bro, Shingo's music copyrighted. They copyrighted literally every song on this show, man. It's been a muted show, like, almost the whole entire day. Yeah, every pretty much every everyone's song. song on this show has been muted. Yeah. I seriously don't think there was a single song on this show that wasn't muted. It's probably a race issue. Another bullion kind of. I love this. All right, guys, I'm gonna run to the bathroom, fill my glass of water. I'll be right back. Close the city down for me. Oh damn! Again. I'm falling asleep. Oh, yeah. That sucks. <coughs> Did you like that match? Did you watch it? Yeah, I mean, some of it, I'm going to fall in sleep, so some parts, but pretty much, oh. what I saw, I, was, I saw pretty much the whole match, but it was good. You should check it out again, it was really good. I liked it. It was a little chaotic. <laughs> a little, like, you know, a little too crazy at times, but it was awesome. <clears throat> I mean, it picked up halfway. I mean, it was, like, pretty slow in the beginning. A little stalling. I don't know, I thought it was awesome. It's not like the beginning part. I just hate it. Big, big, big hater. Did you leave? 
No, over Frank, here. That's Frank. Frank was left. He said it was going to be Yeah, he did. He said that was going to be the last match he watches. Um, ooh, ooh, they're all putting their fists together. They're all joining the shield. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. Shingo never really disappoints. Naito never really disappoints. I mean, like, it's, I don't know. I, I expected this to be good. <laughs> Not a big New Japan guy, but, you know, there's certain guys that are in New Japan that you're like, they'll never disappoint. They'll always put on bangers. I mean, unless you're up against, like, evil or something. Uh. Right? Because his title run was not good. I watched, like, one or two of those matches, and I was just like, dude, what the hell? I was like, they made this guy a world champion? Like, shit. They should have made me world champion. I would have been done a better job. I don't even know a single move. I would have told a story, though. I would have been like, ah! Piece of the pie. So, was that your favorite match of the night, or did you? Go I'd say so. Yeah. Home? Yeah, I'd say so too. That and the the match before it was really good too. Um, it was exciting. You excited to see Kaiji Muda? What the fuck is that? You don't know him? No. It's the Great Muda. Oh, the Great Muda, my bad. Kaiji Muda? Yeah. Man, I don't really don't care. He's kind of old. He, he's old, old so, like, like whatever. Yeah. If you're going to see Okada, you like him. He's cool. You see Tana, uh, Tanahashi. Tanahashi. Yeah. You like him? Yeah. <clears throat> the Supernova, who's that? That's what they call Norm Dar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, did you watch that Mika Satamora match? The who? Mika Satamora. How much is that? Uh, isn't she in NXT UK? Is she their women's champion? Because that's tomorrow. Oh no, no! It's gonna be a Priestley. Yeah. She no, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Who's this? Be Priestley? Don't you mean uh, Devin? I'm player Devonport. Player Devonport. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's the homie. I haven't seen it yet either. It's the homie Kaito Kiyomiya. What a mark! This is the uh, this is the ace right here. The true ace of Japanese pro wrestling, Kaido Kiyomiya. This match, uh, bro, I don't know whose fault it is. Yeah, it's TV. No, you know what it is? Because they muted every song on the show. It's TV. Uh, it's uh, Abima TV. I think they just don't own the rights to any of the songs. And they're not trying to take any chances. So that's why everybody's songs got muted on the show. But yeah, ever since... Uh, I saw the Noah show last year. I've been a fan of Kaito Kiyomiya. He's so damn good. So young, too, but he's good. No, yeah, it doesn't look like he fits his clothes. Yeah, but he's he's, tw he's our age. He's like 25. He's 25? Yeah, I mean, he looks like he's 18, but he's 25. He's a little bit older than me. Well, we're... We're all turning 25 this year, except for Ali. Ali's turning 24. He's a cancer, too. Who has cancer? That's No, his sign. He's born in July. 
Oh, oh you looked them up. Oh, we're talking about signs now? Yeah. Here comes the uh, living, the living legend. I wonder if he's going to be Kaiji Muda or the Great Muda. I hope he comes out as the Great Muda. For this event. I hope so. Let's see. Where's the NWO? Oh. Kaiji Muda. Yes, Kaiji Muda. Here comes the legend himself. Is that too sweet? Yeah. I'm just kidding. You're in it too sweet. Too sweet. Too sweet. It can run blood club. Oh man. You know old man strut. Frank leave the call already? Yeah. 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 You say he He's gonna know. rip it he's gonna rip his shirt off. Like Hulk Hogan is gonna ass man Russell. He said he didn't want to see this guy's wrangly balls fall out during the match. <laughs> Muto Kaiji. <laughs> you look at my chest. Hey! And Tony Copeland, thank you for the subscription on YouTube, bro. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's the ace of the universe now. We have the ace of Japan and Kaido Kimiya, and then the ace of the universe. <coughs> and the champ. Only Hiroshi Tanahashi. No, Tanahashi's coming out, not Okada. Oh, you're right. Oh, uh, Tanahashi did beat Kenta, so he is a champion. Yeah. Yeah, Come here. the U.S. champion. Yes, hey, I won it. Representing the United States of America. Yeah. U.S. champion. Do talk about Hey, technically, he's main event Wrestle Kingdom again. This is Okada. This is Okada's third Wrestle Kingdom main event in three days. It's pretty crazy. Here they go. Kaiji Mood, I was like, who the hell are you? <laughs> Man, Kaiji Mood was probably changing Tanashi's diapers when he was like a baby, so. Yeah. Oh, look at the respect. Kaiji Mood. Allowing a kid to play he, the he shakes the rope. He falls. He's a bigger fall. <laughs> Tarashi Hiroshi. Oh, wait. What, what is he doing? Is he going to do the Queen's Quest thing? Yeah, he's about to do the bow down to the Queen. He's joining Queen's Quest. Well, I mean, Momo left, so they need a new ace. He's got the hair for the job. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's Queen's Quest. He also has a jacket for the job, too. All he needs is the um, appropriate colors. Yeah. Welcome back, Io Shirai. I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> looks a little different, but. Rain maker. Here comes the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. You just got out of the bath. You just got out of the shower, though. Out of the shower. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is me when I get out of the shower. Squinting and shit. I'm just looking all around. I'm just like, how the hell did you get in my house? Out of like 50,000 people <laughs> watching you get out the shower. 
Yeah, and I'm like, how the hell do you get in my house? <laughs> There's all these lights. <laughs> This guy sleeps backstage. Remember when Kanye was living in the stadium when he's working on Donda? Yeah. That's like Okada. He just lives in the stadium. What's he doing? Cramming was a bit early. Rainmaker. Oh. Tada, Kajushka. Turtle T, thank you so much for subscribing on YouTube, brother. I appreciate you. Did he bring the bell? Of course he did. You guys are taking Okay, I was just making sure. Smallest belt. The Divas Champion. The IWGP Divas Championship. Yeah. Now, a Diva is a female version of a hustler. Damn. Look at all that gold that New Japan has. And Noah's like, man, we broke. We ain't got no money, no bitches, no bread, nothing. Screw it, Okada's gonna pin Okada. I am curious as to who takes the pin in this match. The hair versus all hair match. Four, all four men are well protected. I'm curious as to who gets pinned. The um, hair versus hair match. So count out, man. Count out. Double count out. Double count out. Yeah. He's like, get your old ass out the ring. Double, double DQ finish. They both hit each other with chairs. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Let's go. Main event time. Kaido Kiyomiya. And Kaiji Muda representing Pro Wrestling Noah versus Kazuchika Okada and Hiroshi Tanahashi representing New Japan Pro Wrestling. Main event of the show, Kaido and Okada are starting off. Smack them. Smack them around. Which one? Wait, Okada. wait, who are you guys rooting for? What, what team? Team New Japan or Team Noah? Uh, New Japan. New Japan, yeah. Look at how much bigger Okada looks than this guy. Take him down. This guy looked like he didn't know that you need to put baby oil on before the match. I'm surprised Okada went to win the title before the fans could verbally cheer. I mean, what are you supposed to wait until like 2025 when COVID ends? Miles okay. over. It's like the whole one fans come back, dude. Right? It's like, yeah, what, 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 dude, what, it's what, New what, Japan. No, no one's cheering when anything happens. They're just sitting quietly over, watching. Bro. That's why nobody cheers. <laughs> no, it's just their. It's like their gimmick. Nobody's over, bro. Once again, the Japanese fans. They just don't. They don't cheer for everything. They just anytime a big spot happens, that's when they cheer, and then they quiet the rest of the match. It's like they're studying for like a math assignment. Like dead quiet. Kaito's, Kaito's got my man on the mat. He could break your shit right now if he wanted to. He just let me live. No, he can't. Yeah, he can. You know, Kaito's pants actually kind of remind me of Tanahashi's pants. Like his black and gray pants. Look almost exactly like him. Yeah. Mm. 
This is the kids that went to public school versus the kids that went to private school. Which one's which? <laughs> I think it's obvious Sokata went to private school. <laughs> you don't walk around public school with a haircut like that. Oh damn, he got him by the throat. That's the that's the I'm so much smarter than you haircut. I can prove it. Sun -sun. Yeah, Tanashi. You know, if they want to just keep Kaiji Muto out the rest of the match, I wouldn't be too mad about it. Oh, they're going to team up with an old man? Damn. <laughs> they're going to beat up the whole guy. Beat up the old man. <laughs> I love how they both turned to him and then Kaiser backed up. He's like, whoa, 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 calm down. He said, I didn't sign up for this shit. You know, it'd be a really funny spot if someone does a headlock, but they didn't take a shower for like a week and no deodorant. So you just forced to smell their fucking pits the whole time. And they <laughs> well, actually, I knew a guy that used to do that. There was a guy at um Lenny's show that used to do that. Really? Yeah. He his name was his name was like Dirtbag Dan or something. I mean, that's a little. He was bad, like yeah. really dirty, and he would make a bunch of people smell his pits. And I think he lived the gimmick like. You just tell that his like armpits didn't have deodorant on it. They like live the gimmick. To Tyler's co host bro, they verbally cheer because they 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 verbally cheer they can't because of COVID. You clearly never watched New Japan P V Pit Evan. I mean no, I was kidding when I said that nobody's over. I know why. They know why too. We were all just kidding when we said that nobody's over. Yeah, hey, go eat. Well, they're not very loud ever, like. Well, yeah, they they were never like rambunctious like American crowds were. Yeah, I mean, some Japanese pros are like that, but most of them are not. It's just a different like custom. Exactly. All right, now we got Mudo and we got Tanashi. <laughs> Like how Tanji just lets go of the whole, like, all right, I'm done. Wow, <laughs> why is there so much movement? Ollie, why are you moving your mic around? My bad, my phone fell. It fell. On a mat they go. Break his arm. He should. Revenge Think for it, breaking Kenta's face. Well, you know, if you break his arm, he can't do air guitar. That means he can't celebrate. It's very true. You have to think about these things. <coughs> Leg lock applied. Yeah, Great Muda was so fucking over. Iron bar plot. Nope. Muda reaches the ropes almost immediately. Snap back. Oh. Leg like lock. Oh, they're clapping. He said, okay. They like that. All right, we got Okada and Mudo. Oh, yeah. Two of the uh, worst of the uh, companies. 
That's not nice. Nah, he's bad. He's not evil. Okada hater. Impact sympathizer. I am an impact sympathizer. What synthesizer? I play music. Not synthesizer, sympathizer. <laughs> You say that like it's a bad thing. You know, like impact like killed millions of people in like a car accident or something. I don't know. Yeah, the ultimate impact apologist. Oh, there's a Tesla. Too sweet. The only thing impact ever did was kill that one kid, and that was L- LAX's fault. What? Remember that storyline where LAX like hit a kid with a car and they killed him? I remember they killed off Big the James. Oh, they killed off Allie, too. Actually, a lot of people have died in their uh, kayfabe, when you think about it. That's kind of like their favorite thing to do. Mm. Straight on murdering people. Well, Lucha Underground liked to do that, too. They were just like, hey, what if this guy died? They were like Boston. Into an oh, ooh. That's good. Hero chilling off. There we go. Kaio Kimi is back in the ring. And Chono was the other guy that was in WCW. Would have been one, two. Tyler, you look dead. I'm tired, bro. I am very tired. It's a little, little dead, yeah. Thankfully, this is not like a super long show. It's like about two hours shorter than the Wrestle Kingdom was, so. Now, hopefully this match doesn't go, uh, you know, 38 minutes or anything. I know it's an Okada match, so he's probably very, 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 very likely to try, but hope not. This is going to be a 10-star classic? No. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be on the, you going to be on the cover of whatever the hell month? Newsweek. The Meltzer Show. Nah. Is Meltzer watching? Mm-mm. No. Well, he what did you watching think of Meltzer giving um, Osprey versus Okada five and three quarters, but only giving Paige versus Brian Danielson four and three quarters? Which hangman match? Uh, I just said Paige and Danielson. Like the latest one, the January 5th one, TBS one. one oh. The, the, the show that happened on the same day as Wrestle Kingdom. They both I, like that. I liked that match better than their first match. But did you think that match was better than the Wrestle Kingdom match between Okada and Osprey? Mm, not really. I like the, I like the New Japan one better. Will relief applied. I'm trying to stay up. Ugh. Kaido, hang also, on. Those, that tap out, Kaido. Those are two hard matches to compare to. What are you trying to compare? The 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 Hangman Page match and the Okada one. I don't know. Ooh. Oh! He killed him. 
He's done. Looks like Shiori relinquished the SWA title. Are they getting rid of that title? Uh, they said no, it will not be defunct. So it looks no. like she's just saying, well, I have too many titles now. So why don't I go with the least relevant one? Oof. That sucks. And pretty much. <laughs> Come on, Kaido, get your shit together. Kaido's literally waiting for you, bro. That was the only time we were going to see uh, Japanese versus Japanese with that title. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Phased by these strikes. Oh, shit. Mm. He's going in. He's rocking his shit. I'm not liking this double team assault. You put him down so gently. Sun time. Yeah. yeah. That was badass. Let's go one. Hell yeah, we came to hear the hits. Or see the hits, rather. There you go, Kaido. Oh yeah, Wrestle Kingdom. Johnny Bernie, what's up, man? Welcome to the chat. Yes, Wrestle Kingdom is on. It's the final match. You guys getting his ass kicked. I know. I told Muda to save the day, I guess. By God, Tyler's dead. Yeah. I want to be more excited, but I'm tired. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Dragon Ball. Yeah, this well. old man's beating them all up. Before. Any big announcement from from the New Japan show? Not that I know of. He says to the moon. <laughs> Boy, I tweak that foot. Definitely a slower paced tag team match. I feel like I'm watching two separate singles matches happen intertwined with each other. Exactly. It's kinda weird. Yeah. Not really like the last two matches were a little better. I'm not really liking the pacing. It feels like it feels like two singles matches angled intertwined with each other. I mean yeah, they're just taking turns. I understand slower paced matches. It's, just, it's weird. Like, it's happening so weird. It doesn't really make any sense. Firefighter Shining Wizard. Dragon Screw. Anything you could do, I could do better. So, Impact Champions work in the Rumble. Yes, we talked about it earlier. I'm very excited for it. I'll talk about it more in depth on TikTok. I have a theory on why that is. Okada. So get your old ass up. He looks very excited. Elbow. Oh, I'm drop. Elbow drop. Yeah. Oh, hell 
Hey, Maker. Oh, well, he ducked it. Yeah. Shining wizard. Come on, bro. You can win for the pin right there. I don't think he can feel his leg. Come on, Kaido. Elbows in. Come on, Kaido. Hammer in. God damn. Rapid fire. He's trying to wake up, caught up. Give our main event of this show, guys. Kazuchika Okada and Harry Tanahashi versus Kaido Kiyomiya and Kaiji Muzo. Oh. That's a weird pin. Yeah, very weird. Very interesting pin. Yeah, Kyle, get him out of here. Here we go. Drop kick. Oh, no miss. Tombstone. How much is Kaji Muto getting paid to babysit I tonight? I don't know, a lot of money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was going for the dragon suplex. Did he hit it? Ooh. Oh, no. Come on. You got this. Slain by Oh, oh Slain Blade. Blade. Muto. Shiny Wizard. <laughs> Dropkick. There's the knee. Everybody's down. Red shoes. I do feel as though Tanashi had to slow down for Muda when he went for the Shining Wizard. Yeah, I'm not even sure he caught all of it, to be honest. Not really. How old is Mudo? It's like 60 something, I think. Mm. Let's check. Uh, he is 59. Oh, okay. Who is? Kaiji Mudo. Kaiji oh, Mudo. He's almost, he's almost 60 years old. You think he's gonna? Yeah. You think he's gonna retire? How would WWE be? How would WWE? How WWE would it be if Johnny Maxwell won the Rumble? I <laughs> highly doubt it. Okay, cool. If who? Johnny Maxwell. Oh. He's not gonna win the Rumble. I know. They didn't have Drew Carey win the Rumble. Okay, but it's a different team. Bad Bunny should be in the Rumble this year. Who? Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny? That'd be Bad. awesome. What if he won the Rumble? I'm down for Bad Bunny versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Yeah. Be a little weird, but yeah. Be a match. We all know The Rock's coming to win the Rumble. Like I said last year, but it, for some reason it didn't happen. The Rock's gonna win this year. Oh shit! 
I'm going to get 20 I'm talking about number 31. Waymaker. Rock, rock and Roman. Waymaker. Oh, wait. Duck. Dragon. Oh. Oh, shit. Tombstone. 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 Ah, damn. Ah, damn. It's over. It's over. Raymaker. Ray. Oh. Duck. Duck kick. To the back of that. Come on, Kaido. Hit that dragon suplex. Oh, wait. Hey, what's there? Wait. Hit the dragon. German. German. Damn. One. Two. Yeah. Ooh. That was close. That was close. He should hit the dragon suplex. He would have got it. Don't know why he went for a high angle German. Come on, Kaido. Buddha, like, what the fuck, man? I set you up. Kaido, come on. You're so close. Stop wasting time. Tiger suplex. Yes. Yeah. One, two. Fuck. <laughs> now, nah, Mudo's old ass would have been holding out Tanahashi like he was earlier. Again. Come on. Need it back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Drop kick. Go. Oh, oh, oh. mm. Got caught the drop kick. Kaido, get up. Yeah, Kaido, get up. Oh lord. Oh, it's over. Look at driver. It's over. <clears throat> and we make it. a. One, two, and New Japan gets the final win of the night. Because it's Kaido so pitting Kaido Kiyomiya. So what's the standings? I'm pretty sure it's four or five. Well, New Japan win I got. Yo, Kaido, don't cry. <laughs> Look at the two old men outside. Like, yeah, well, that was a good match. <laughs> Kaido, don't cry. There's always next time. I don't know when next time is going to be, but don't cry, Kaido. <laughs> My man's in the ring crying right now. You said, I can't believe no one lost this match. <laughs> For his factory, if he lost for his whole company, he's gonna get fired. That's why he's crying. Yeah, Jun Akiyama's not having that shit. You're saying, Where's your title? Oh, yeah, you didn't bring one. <laughs> yeah, feel the same way, girl. Feel the same way. Uh, oh God! About to kick him. Like get out, get the fuck out of my ring. <laughs> oh, he he talking. He said talk your shit. All right, oh God, I guess you can talk your shit. Mood is like, come on, son. You'll live to fight another day. It's like no it's trash. <clears throat> Like Wrestle Kingdom 9 all over again. So we're playing air guitar now. <laughs> it's alright, Kaido. You got him next time, boy. You got him next time. The songs are muted and he's doing air guitar to nothing. That'd be awesome. Oh, it's not muted for them. Oh, yeah, I know. The arena's muted too. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fair to say this wasn't a canon Wrestle Kingdom show? I mean, technically, it'll go down to history as a Wrestle Kingdom show. 
I mean, it's three nights. This is just one of three. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Just count all the other nights, too? I mean, how did y'all feel about the show? It was all right. I liked it. Yeah, or whatever. It. I don't think it was great, but it was all right. Yeah, I could I could have waited to watch this show. I'll be honest. I don't know. That last match before this was good, and then the match before that was good, and there was a couple highlights here and there. <laughs> like, this is our territory. The fuck y'all think was gonna happen? <laughs> he said, I am leaving and going to Noah. With the title. With the title. <laughs> He's gonna pull a CM Punk. They're doing their final speech, and then we're going to head things off here in like a couple minutes, guys. Guys, in the chat, how did y'all feel about the show? I thought it was like a solid, like, I don't know, six and a half, seven. <laughs> I thought there was like a seven. What would you guys get the show out of ten? Uh, I don't know. Six seven I don't know. Yeah, probably like a six point five. <clears throat> yeah, six, six seven, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Man. <clears throat> uh, Alex Ali show not worth thirty five dollars, bro. Okay, yeah, it was not worth thirty five dollars. Like I said, I could have waited to watch the show. Honestly, I'm tired. I ain't trying to listen to the speech. So you're about to be trying to stream right here. <laughs> I don't doubt anything's going to happen. Sam Punk comes out. Responsibility. Yo, this is the English translation of what the chat was saying? Hold on. Refund, premium cancellation, white PR, <laughs> Japanese, separate. Wait, they're all saying refund? They're all saying refund on mute. <laughs> I think they're not happy that this is the English version. What did they expect? Well, if this was the only stream, I guess they I guess they went a native Japanese commentary. Did you like translated tweet? Did you like translated text? No way they're gonna let LIJ lose. Yeah, they're ending things off. Alright, guys. So, I'm gonna head off out of here. It looks like Okada, Tanash, you're heading up out of here, too. Nothing's about to happen. Nothing crazy's about to happen at the end of this show. Um, I thought this was a uh, fairly good show. I would have not paid $35 for it. Is it worth your time? If you're a big fan of both promotions, absolutely. If you are not a big fan of other promotions, I'm going to say no. Not worth your time. But it was cool to see these guys in with each other. I think match of the night for me was probably the... Uh, the 10-man tag? And LIJ and... Congo. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely good for me. Everybody yeah, this was awesome. But y'all, that's it for me. I'm ahead of out of here. Alejandro and Dane has joined us. Thank you guys for joining and watching the show along with us. I will yes, be back again later today for AEW Battle of the Belts tonight at 8 p.m. One hour show. Come through to the stream to watch us live react to it. All right, guys, I'm out of here. You all have a good night. Uh, this has been Wrestle Kingdom 16 all three nights. I'd rank them. I would go... Uh, night two, night one, uh, night two, night one, the night three. Yeah. I thought night three was probably my least favorite of the shows. 
But outside of that, has this got me more interested in New Japan? Not really. Has it got me more interested in Noah? Slightly. Has this got has this show got you any more interested in New Japan or Noah before we head up out of here? Uh not really. And neither? I mean no. eh, I'm intrigued. Yeah. I mean I might look in a, a Noah match or two, but I don't I don't know. Alright, they said no. So it's pretty much a no across the board. Alright, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna take me a two hour nap now I gotta hit the work. So I'm gonna talk to you all later. I'll see y'all later on today for AEW Battle of the Belts. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.